Hello guys, welcome once again to One Coin Only. It is good to be here with you guys for another day. Happy Tuesday everyone. Monday is over. No more of that Monday itis. I hope you guys are having a, a super awesome time. Thank you for joining me for the first time today. I decided to have a little bit of a sleep in because I've been absolutely wrecked lately. I just wanted to be full of beans for you today and uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I think we're going to have a good time today guys. We're going to be playing some... Uh, Mega Man 4. I haven't done Mega Man 4 in a very, very long time, and I thought I'd take a chance and do some of the harder Mega Man games now. And then, uh, after this, we're going to be doing some GTA. Uh, we're going to be doing some GTA Story Mode, and then we're going to check out the new Casino Mode late at night. So if you guys can't sleep, we're going to have some fun later on for you guys today as well. So thank you very, very much for coming in. Going to say hello to all the awesome people in the room. And uh, over on YouTube, we have Michael, Sheba, Fryzy... We got Ing, we got Henry, and we got Captain BS. Good to see you. And then over on the Facebook, we have David, Don, Kenneth, Tim, D Wayne, Alan, Sam, Munster, Link, and we got Tommy, we got John, we got Pedro, we got Keith, we got Randall, Randall, we got Hector, and we got James. Guys, thank you so much for coming in. As always, guys, don't forget to get on that like and share train for us, please. Uh, you know, as much as we love star donations, subscriptions, everything like that, the number one thing that we want here at OneCoin only is growth, and we can't do that without you guys spreading the word. So if you know anyone that wants to watch, or you at least want to get involved by giving us a like, we'd really, really appreciate it. With that being said, we're going to go to the main screen now. We're going to go over here. And uh, Mega Man 4, ladies and gentlemen, if you've got any advice to help me through this, please let me know. I've only ever beaten this game, I think, once. So it's uh, going to be quite the challenge today. Hey, down there, Joseph. Good to see you. I don't know if you guys want to watch the cutscene or not. We can play it out. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. I've got my little list on what robot bosses to do first. Oh, goodness. So, you know, I thought, you know, if I want to keep playing Mega Man, I have to play all the Mega Man games you don't see done a million times. You know what I mean? I'm trying to compromise. <laughs> Start with Toad Man. Apparently you're going to start with Toad Man. Uh, yeah, I do have the list. And my list says Toad Man. So I think, yeah, I think we'll go with Toad Man today. Give me one second, guys. We're almost ready to go. Just pulling this list back up. Yeah, I've got my list up just to let me know what robot bosses I need to do first. Yeah, it looks like we're going to do Toad Man first. Alright, Captain BS, that's where we're going. By the way, my un my breath still tastes like it. Rodney says his advice is don't die. Sam thinks I look 20 years old again. Yes, guys, well spotted. I've had a shave. And, uh, yeah. My un my breath after yesterday still smells like onion. It's absolutely freaking disgusting. No ladies are going to want to kiss me for about a week. <laughs> so, uh, how you doing there, Sean? Good to see you. Carl says he watched Crocodile Dundee 2 today. Son of a bitch, what makes you think that I care that you watch Crocodile Dundee? Is it, do you think just because I'm Australian I care if you guys watch Crocodile Dundee? Now, uh, Crocodile Dundee is a pretty good movie. I even like the second one. The first one's the best, obviously. Okay, Captain BS just wanted wanted to know what I thought of Monday Night Raw. Dude, I mean, I, I'll get your guys' opinions as well. I watched Monday Night Raw yesterday, and, uh, you know, it was some good, some bad. I think it was definitely a very, very big uh, up-and-down episode. I think the biggest problem with Monday Night Raw is they had, like, 40 returning superstars, not to mention the regular roster, uh, to get through the show, you know what I mean? And, uh, it just felt a little bit rushed in parts. But there were some parts that were incredibly entertaining, too. What do you guys all think of Monday Night Raw? You're looking good, Miss OneCoin, lucky girl. Is Mrs. OneCoin in here? I didn't see, uh, you in here. Wait, where's you? Did she just come in? Well, there you go. You guys are see I, I haven't even seen Mrs. OneCoin. How you going, babe? Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Did I eat that onion? Yeah, I, you know, I, I actually won. So my record for beat it or eat it is now eight wins and nine losses. Um, but yeah, I ate the onion to be a good sport because I sold out. Well, I ate half the onion. And yeah, my breath absolutely stinks right now. <laughs> and Will says he couldn't finish Raw. Do you mean you couldn't finish Raw because it was so bad or you didn't have time? How you doing there, Link? Yeah, the onion's just... I mean, I ate the onion like 24 hours ago, guys, and it's still hanging on in my breath. It's just horrible. As I said, I used to I used to work in a fruit and salad factory, like cutting up vegetables all day. And uh, you can charge up the buster in this one. I completely forgot about that. 
Um, and yeah, I used to cut onions when I, you know, when I was a rookie. Uh, I thought, no, I'll be okay. I won't wear gloves. And I'd spend the whole day cutting onions, and my hands would literally stink for a week. I'm sorry to hear you're not good, Link. What's going on? Jo oh, damn. Joseph says Kelly Kelly was at Monday Night Raw, and that's all that matters. How you doing there, Mike? Good to see you today. So how's everyone going in on uh, YouTube as well? Don't forget, guys, we are streaming on both uh, Facebook and YouTube today. Thank you to everyone that's rocked up. Yeah, onion breath. It's no joke. Like, just, just, just picture yourself eating, like, five large onion rings at uh, Burger King. That's kind of how I feel right now. It's, it's gross. It's disgusting. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. <laughs> I mean, maybe my charge buster ain't going to work so great. I've kept fucking eyeballs. How many times am I going to shoot this dude? Oh, come on. Really? Just die already. Just a dick face. I tried to use a charge buster, it didn't really feel- Oh gosh damn it! Oh come on! Oh fucking hell, he had like 500 million fucking hit points! Yeah, no, the million dollar man, it shouldn't have counted, but I mean, you know, let's let's just be honest, it's 24-7 titles comic relief, I don't really care all that much. But yeah, technically he didn't win the belt. How you doing, Autumn? Good to see you. Tim says my breath smells like onions. Yes, it does. Fuck! Yes, my breath smells like fucking onions! <laughs> oh my gosh, man! A, oh, come on! Now, can I can I just like get past this sucker? With there we go. I'm just gonna go on to the next screen. God damn it! How fuck! Oh my gosh! I hate this boss, David. This is not even a boss. All right, David. David with 50 stars. Thank you very much, sir. I'm going out to you. In your ass if you say oh, thank you, Auden. Appreciate ya. <laughs> it's kind of like me already. And then and then and then and then and then and then. <laughs> Ron Simmons coming with a dam? Totally. The fuck! Now where am I gonna respawn? How do I do- Oh, gosh damn it. Captain BS, do you have any advice here? I'm gonna try and go back down, see how we go. I, th I think we can just go back and do it the second time. Alright, cool. Oh, gosh, man. As I said, it's not my idea of a good time. Alright, this is all, all a patience game really, isn't it? There we go, the eyeballs are going to come back at me. Gosh damn it. Oh, come on, Rick. Patience, mate. Patience. Patience, Rick. Oh, oh here we are. That, that was a lot better. Okay, we got past. And Henry says you should have a Ron Simmons star screen. You know we almost did a Ron Simmons star screen. I think that... Fuck! I think we're going to do a Ron Simmons star screen soon. Mega Man is tough. You're not wrong, Tim. Oh, for fuck's sake! Fucking fuck, fuck. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Sorry, no. Oh, fuck that fish! Oh my gosh. Oh, fucking respawns, too. It's like fucking Ninja Gaiden shit right now. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. Let me just calm my farm here for a sec. Oh my gosh, stupid jumpy fish. Oh, come on! <laughs> Charge up the can- You charge up the fucking cannon! Alright, sorry. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're just gonna go this way. Alright, we got this. Alright, we just need to find some rhythm. It's okay. Oh, god damn it. Same in here. You're right. Oh, fuck! I tell you what, I found Mega Man 4 to be incredibly hard. Distance definitely makes the, the heart grow fonder in this game. Alright, here we go. We made it. Oh, goodness. So, by the way, guys, I'm really, really, really over the moon, um, because, uh, Facebook, you know, as you guys know, when I did beat it or eat it yesterday, uh, Facebook actually flagged me for some of my thank you videos, uh, but I disputed, I did a fair, uh, fair use dispute, and we actually won, believe it or not, so, uh, you know, Facebook actually had my back on this one, which was a really nice feeling, it doesn't happen too often. I'm gonna have to, okay. How you doing, Sink? Good to see you, man. Thank you so much for coming in. Appreciate you visiting. How you doing, Jeremy? There's probably a reason you haven't seen Mega Man 4 in a while. <laughs> you should try Mega Man 1. You hear it's easier. Jeremy, I'm actually really good at Mega Man 1. I always play Mega Man 1, 2, and 3, and I just play them to death. And that's why I'm trying to challenge myself and do a different Mega Man game right now, because uh, I think I'm going to bore the, bore the audience if all I do is play Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 all the time, you know what I mean? But Mega Man 1 is actually my strongest uh, Mega Man game, I would say. Easily. Oh, God. 
gosh, okay. Come on, we can get him. We almost had him. How you doing, Ricky? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Oh, but fuck this guy. Trying try to charge up the bus to him, man. Can you imagine doing this as a seven-year-old kid? You're going to get humbled in a hurry. All right, there we go. Not bad, Captain BS is much better. I'm going to deliberately die on purpose in the next level and get my lives back, too. Oh, gosh. I think I've got to do Bright Man next. Hey, dude says you're killing you. I'm sitting next to your son. You're going crazy. I'm only mucking around, Carl. I'm not serious crazy. I appreciate you guys both being in here. I do apologize if I swore in front of your boy. And Andy says when you're a kid, you thought Toe Man's dancing was pretty creepy. I don't I never really thought about it. I'm gonna have a look I'm gonna have a look into it, Andy, and see if I could suss it out a bit more. Thank, thank you, Eli, I appreciate you. Oh, so Javier says you can slide in this one. You know, I actually honestly forgot about that too. How you doing there, Big J? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in, Big J. So keep sliding left and right, but then you'll keep jumping back and forth. Alright, there we go. We're going to continue the next one. I think we're going to do Bright Man next, apparently. So there we go. We're going to do this one here. And Big J Law says, did I win the Beat It or Eat It challenge yesterday? Yeah, I did, man. Um, but I won Beat It or Eat It. But I was a good sport and ate half the onion anyway, just because I got a massive amount of donations. Everyone was really kind. Hey you going, Julia? Good to see you. Thank you for coming. So let me just die on purpose. Get my lives back. We should be fine. How you doing, Dave? I like Mega Man very much, too. Alright, here we go. So we should be able to do the stage select here. Alright, there we are. Thank you very much for your patience, everyone. What else is going on today? Has everyone had a good Tuesday? You'll have to all let me know uh, what's going on. Big thank you for all the likes and shares already too, guys. Your support's absolutely amazing. And, uh, alright. And, uh, we've got Jason here. Good to see you, Jason. Dave says he actually owns Mega Man 1-6. to uh, A fun little fact, in Australia, we only actually got Mega Man 1-3. Uh, to For some reason, I don't know, uh, anyone from the UK here, did you guys ever get Mega Man 4-6? Uh, on NES. For some reason in Australia we only got Mega Man 1 to 3. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to trying to see where to go here. No, we're gonna keep Okay, I'm just trying to how far. Okay, that's not gonna work out. Alright, we made it. It's really hard. I keep shooting the lights out. Are we just got a notification guys? Let me just read the notification for you all. And uh, what notification did we just get? I like to read the notifications so you guys know what's happening. Jose's just been a supporter for six months now. Jose, thank you so much for being a, a supporter for as long as you have, my man. You're absolutely freaking awesome. Man, the fact that you've still retained it after six months really means the world, sir. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Jose. And, uh... Oh, thank you, Timmy. I appreciate you, man. I think you could have given it to D-Wayne. D-Wayne's calm. I go out of control sometimes. You know, I think I accidentally end some friendships, you know what I mean? <laughs> and Jeremy thinks Mega Man games amplify what retro platformers are all about. Oh, they definitely have to be one of the franchises that does that, doesn't it? And, uh, and then Carl says, isn't Australia under Europe NES products? Yes, it is, Carl, usually, but sometimes there's some exceptions to the rules. Carl, this one's going out to you. Thank you for the 50 stars. If you can dodge a wrench, you can It dodge is. I do ap apologize if I'm missing any comments, guys. I appreciate you all being in here. I, I have heard that the Mortal Kombat servers were down today, Fryzy, which is a real shame. I actually wanted to jump on. I was going to jump on for an hour, but then D-Wayne uh, had, had mentioned it. Yeah, the aforementioned servers are not working. How are you doing, Chris? Good to see you. Andy says, is that like a Zabat? I don't know what a Zabat is. Well, what the, what the flame in hell is a, is a Zabat? What's a Zabat? Someone explain what a Zabat is? Is it like a, a regular butt but made out of Zars? I don't know. What, what's a Zabat? <laughs> oh my goodness. So what else is happening, guys? Any other news you got for me? Yeah, we've played Mega Man on Sega Genesis before, absolutely. That's called Mega Man The Wily Wars. If you guys are getting the Sega Genesis uh, Mini, you guys are actually going to get Mega Man The Wily Wars uh, on your uh, Sega Genesis Mini, which is going to be absolutely amazing. Because you could only play that in the United States on the 
on the uh, Sega channel back in the day. So you guys being able to play that game for the first time is going to be pretty unreal. And, uh, hey guys, Freddy, good to see you. Jared thinks I should do a barrel roll. Yeah, no, we, in Australia we got Mega Man on the Mega Drive. I used to rent it out. I think I had a physical copy at one point, actually, too. So yeah, I had the Wily Wars. Carl with another 50 stars. Carl, thank you again, my friend. Carl, this one's going out to you. Appreciate ya. John wants to know if I've got the Chris Grimm yet. Dave says his favourite Mega Man is number three, then part two. And then Jerry, 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 Jerry says at least I'm not... Fuck! Jerry says at least I'm not playing uh, the aforementioned... Uh... Oh, gosh darn it. Oh, let's try this again. At least I'm not playing Mega Man 9. Yeah, Mega Man 9 will break your heart in a hurry. Oh, damn, that's a hard one to jump up on. Well, let's try this again. Can we go back and forth? We can. I'm just going to get it on the peak of the... Oh, my gosh, this is hard. Why can I not get up there? Okay, don't answer that question, because it's probably pretty obvious. All right, we're just going here. All right, the lights are back on, at least. What a sumbish game, man. Oh, God damn it. Oh, my goodness. It's all right, guys. I'll get there. Dustin says he wants a golden throw charmer. Dustin with 130 stars. Thank you very, very much. What can we, where, where's this golden throw charmer? I can't find it. There you go, Dustin. This one's going out to you. Welcome back, man. Thanks for coming by. We got Jerry over on YouTube. And uh, there you go. I would love to watch your playthrough of Mega Man 9, Captain BS. And uh, and, and if no one agrees, well... <laughs> Yeah, I know. We're, we're actually supposed to be a, doc, uh, a democracy here. But, uh, we're a democracy, but what one coin says goes. No, I'm just kidding. That's terrible. That's pretty much how most democracies are covered up, really, in the end, aren't they? But we're not going to talk about politics here on a one coin only stream. I was only kidding, anyway. Alright, we're going to use our turd power. Uh, to Did I say I was going to use our turd powers? What I meant to say is we're going to use our toad powers. Carl says he's going to go today. I'm sorry you can't hang around, Carl. Man, I, uh, I appreciate you, Carl. Sorry for swearing around your boy. I was only joking around, good sir. I appreciate you for being in here. Let's try this again. Yeah, thank you for coming in, Carl. Appreciate you, man. I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, oh, we're going to go back to the, the Toad Powers. I think, I think the best way to go about this is to slide, hey? Use the slidey, slidey, slide ones here. Oh, damn, he's, you can't slide while you actually... Well, that's all right. You know what I'm going to have to do? I'm probably going to die here, and I'm just going to uh, spawn with full health. We'll beat him with full health. Oh, my goodness. This is pretty challenging, but I think we're up to the challenge, guys. How you doing, Dave? Good morning. Right back at you, Matt. Love you too, brother. And you've got Mega Man 11 on Xbox One. Mega Man 11 is fantastic. I absolutely love that game. Don, I didn't see your comment. Please copy and post it, paste it again, brother. Everything's just going absolutely haywire today, man. But guys, if I miss your comment, as I say, guys, just copy and paste it. I'll get to you eventually, I promise. I will get to you eventually. Like, everything you, you guys say is important to me, I promise. And uh, I'm never ignoring you on purpose. I'm just actually trying to win, which is a big rarity in my life. We're going to make it happen, you see. Oh, come on, just get... Damn it, is he dead yet? All right, finally. Took long enough, didn't it? How you doing, Steve? Good to see you today. Thank you for hanging out. da 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 All right, I need to have some more mo monster here. As you get... Michael with the 250 stars. Mikey, thank you so much. Michael with an RKO out of nowhere. Thank you very much, Mikey. Good to see you, Jose. John says, you just got home from a retro night at the local brewery that had console set up. That sounds really, really neat, actually, man. Whereabouts was it? We got Jose heading to bed. We'll be on next time. No worries, Jose. And again, thank you very much for your subscription as well, brother. Thanks for hanging out. And, uh, all right, what's, what's next? What are we going to do after Bright Man? Pharaoh Man, apparently. All right, we're going to do this aforementioned Pharaoh Man. See how we go. Zenon, good to see you. Zenon, thank you so much for coming in. Zenon with 500 stars. And Dustin says the turd power for the win. That's what happens when you accidentally say the wrong word. You're not going to let me live it down, are you? 
Send him with 500, Dustin with 100. Guys, thank you so much today, everyone, for real. There you go, those stars are kind of making me hot. Hey, you going, Steven. See, I'm going to take my shirt off and then, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh, that was kind of awkward, wasn't it? Oh, goodness. And Charles says he had some deep fried pineapple pizza. Wait, hang on, hang on one second. You guys deep fried pizza? You guys deep fried pizza in the United States? Wow, are you serious? I I've never had a, a deep fried pizza before. The only kind of pizza I've had is a regular pizza and what we call a calzone, I think it's called. And that's when you have a folded pizza. I I've never had one of these, this, this some deep fried pizza. That's actually a thing. How you going, James? Good to see you. Wow, deep fried pizza, eh? That does sound pretty unique. I, I, may, I may have to, like, die on purpose and far out. This is not going well. It's so hard to stay. Maybe I need to use a charge buster on this bit. Nah, charge buster ain't helping me either. Oh, my goodness. In the United States, you know, especially in the South, I hear you deep fry everything. Okay. Well, you know what? I mean, the food tastes amazing. It's just not good for your arteries, right? There you go, exactly. Big J said in the South, he deep fries everything. Yeah, wouldn't a deep fried pizza pretty much be a deep fried calzone? See, I would assume so too, Shiva. I mean, it would make sense to deep fry a calzone, I guess. But, uh, actually deep frying a pizza, that's actually possible. Yeah, YOLO. I guess you only live once, hey? And I guess if you, if you eat that deep fried pizza, you'll live once very quickly. <laughs> hey, go on there, Adrian. Good to see you. Sink also says he deep fries everything. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, deep fried food tastes so good, but man, it's a devil. It really is. And, and, and John says you can even deep fried beer. Oh, go on. You can deep fried beer? What the hell? Deep fried beer? Oh, I've got to try this deep fried beer, man. <laughs> can you imagine having a deep fried beer, son of a bitch? Uh, can, can I do my little bouncy bouncy thing? There we go, we're going to use our uh, arc oil here, and there we go, we're finally going to get an E-Tank. Moving on up in the world, guys. I feel better now that we've beaten a couple levels. I don't feel as shit as what I did five seconds ago. That'll probably change. And Fryzy says he likes his women like his pizza cold the next day. Oh shit, snap. I'm sorry if there's any ladies in here. I didn't say that. That was Ryan. Oh my gosh. He likes his pizza like he likes his women. Oh, yeah, it could go any way. I'm just going to leave that one alone, bro. That's funny, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can deep fry ice cream. Absolutely. I've had deep fried ice cream. What they do is uh, they put uh, ice cream inside some, like, batter, and then they fry it for about 30 seconds. And surprisingly, believe it or not, because the batter is so thick, uh, the ice cream is still cold in the middle by the time you get it. So deep fried ice cream is delicious. The trick to making deep fried ice cream is putting really thick batter on it, and then uh, obviously it takes a while. Oh, God damn it! Hang on one sec. You starting to sound like Bubba... Oh, you think so? You, you like your shrimp, eh? Hey? We all know Bubba Gump liked his shrimp. Man, I didn't realize there was so many... Oh, gosh damn it! I didn't realize there were so many fucking different ways to do shrimp. Alright, there we go. Going back over here. Alright, there we go. Back. Sorry, sorry about my language, guys. As I said, I really... Oh, fuck! Stop fucking shooting me! Oh, fuck these guys. Seriously, they're not my friends anymore. Alright. I, I need... I need... Oh. I, oh, come on! How are you supposed... Fuck off! Oh, right, there we go, we made it. I think you need to jump before they shoot. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. I never ever want to do that section ever again. That really freaking sucks. Yeah, I could totally go deep fried ice cream right now. Yeah, I used to get the deep fried ice cream from the Chinese restaurants. Uh, some Japanese restaurants will also do like a deep fried Snickers or a Mars bar, uh, which are also pretty good. Sink says you can get deep fried anything at your carnivals. Oh my gosh. There you go, guys. I love how we come up with random conversations. There we go. We're talking about deep fried food. If, if you had a deep favorite deep fried food, what would it be? And, okay, I'm going I'm to give you guys a challenge. If you had a favorite deep fried food, what would it be? And you're not allowed to say chicken, because chicken's an obvious one. 
If you had to pick a deep fried food that was your favorite, that is not chicken, guys, what would be what would be your favorite? There you go. That's a challenge question. We always ask the hard hitting questions here every day at one point only. Fryzy says, do we really put our shrimp on the barbie? We some Australians cook prawns on the barbecue. We don't cook shrimp. I tell you guys this every day and you don't listen to me. You just don't want to listen. <laughs> How you doing there, Sir Dash? Good to see you. Sir Dash will tell you we don't have shrimp, because no one wants to listen. We should do a poll on deep fried food. Don says he's had a deep fried Snickers as well as a Twinkie. Well, you can deep fry a you can deep fry cheesecake. Oh, go on, really? You can deep fry cheesecake? Well, that's pretty neat. Okay, this boss looks like he's actually not so bad. We can handle this. Man, I can handle this all day freaking long, bro. There you go, take that, you pharaoh son of a bitch. Little freaking pharaoh bitch. Oh, there we go, just gonna jump up and... Man, this is the easiest boss in the history of Mega Man games. Big middle finger... There you go, pharaoh, big middle finger in the air to you. I didn't even realize deep fried cheesecake was a thing. I love regular cheesecake. Oh, corn dogs are freaking amazing. We, we call them Pluto... Oh, wait, we have corn dogs over here. And we also have something called a Pluto Pup. And a Pluto Pup is when you have, like, a hot dog sausage and batter. You deep fry it, put a whole pile of ketchup on it. Bang. That's probably my favorite carnival food is a Pluto Pup. You put a big gigantic stick in it. Oh, my goodness. I'm loving this, guys. Thank you so much for coming in. All right, so we just did the Pharaoh Man. Who we got next? And, uh, guys, don't forget to like and share if you're enjoying, too. While we do really appreciate your star donations... Uh, as I always say, guys, the best way you can help out for free, every time you comment, give us a share, or give us a like, we get something here that's called reach. So basically, the more reach we get, uh, the more people's new feeds we go on, you know what I mean? So, you know, you can't put a price on promotion. So we want to thank you guys all for helping us. So, uh, Adrian says he does deep-fried steak in Argentina. Hey man, I want a deep fried steak. I've never ever had a deep fried steak before. That sounds pretty amazing. I missed a balloon power up. Did I really? Oh well, sucks to be me today, doesn't it? <laughs> I love it when people. I love it when people tell me that I've missed something rather than explain to me how to get something. Like, what good is you telling me that I've missed something if we can't go back and get it? Like, thanks man, just making me feel bad about myself. <laughs> doesn't help me. Hindsight doesn't help me. You know what helps me? Foresight. Foresight is a wonderful thing. Hindsight's just an absolute bitch, man. <laughs> hey, going, James. Good to see you. Deep fried Oreos. I've never had a. Oh, gosh darn it. I've never ever had a deep fried Oreo either. Actually, how, how many of you guys have tried deep fried Oreos before? Do, do they cover the Oreos in batter as well, or, or how do they do deep fried Oreos? Hey, you going, Jeffrey? Jeffrey with 100 stars as well. Jeffrey, I really appreciate you going out to you today, my friend. Adam, Adam assures me that a deep-fried cheesecake is the best thing ever. We got Wild Fox over on YouTube. Good to see you there, Wild Fox. Thanks for coming in. And Pi Nation says he's out. Sorry, Pi Nation. Everything okay? Why are you leaving for, Pi? You're too busy. That's all right, brother. We'll see you again tomorrow, hopefully, hey? Sorry, uh, sorry I missed you. I don't think I had a chance to say hello to you yet, Pi. I think I've been missing your comments. I don't want you uh, to think I'm rude, sir. As I said, like, uh, I, I don't think until you'll, you'll get become a streamer yourself. Well, Pi is a streamer, obviously, but to everyone else, it's, you know... Obviously, we have a really, really good community stream here at one point only. And uh, one of the hardest things to do is play a game and, and, and comment at the same time. I absolutely hate missing comments, but... Unfortunately, it happens when you play these games, and uh, I just wanted to say I appreciate your patience with me. You guys, you guys already know that I never ignore you on purpose. And uh, I just like to reassure you guys every day. I'm the rudest some bitch. I'm not a well. Sometimes I, I, I can be rude. I can be rude sometimes. I'm not perfect, but you know, pie my heart's in the right place. Isn't that all that matters? <laughs> Oh, I'm just going to keep shooting him in his sunfish eyeballs, I guess. How many times will you shoot this dude? You've only had savoury deep-fried stuff? 
Oh, so Jerry says they use pancake batter to deep fry Oreos. Okay, well, you know what? That makes sense. Thank you, Daniel. Appreciate it. So I'm guessing if you go to, like, what is it? The, the pancake place and stuff, you can probably get deep fried Oreos there. Because why not, Sink? You're right, man. That sounds like a good idea to me. Alright. So now what? We got, like, a mini boss here. Oh, son of a bitch. This, there's, like, five bosses in this game before the actual real boss. That's alright. Cool. We're gonna get our health item and, and Bob's your uncle, mate, as we say. Everyone's probably gonna be like, Rick, why don't you use the Charge Buster? I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. I understand the Charge Buster is awesome to use. But I'm usually really, really terrible with it. So if you don't see me using the Charge Buster, that's generally why. It's not because I, sh I, I don't want to use it, it's because I'm hopeless with it. I don't, I don't know if there's anywhere... I don't know... I mean, there's... I, I keep forgetting by Mega Man 4 there's actually uh, branching paths in this. Well, here we go, guys. We got two ink tanks now. Deep fried Oreos are also at the fair. I mean, we have, we have fairs over here as well, but they're not as common as, uh... Oh, you know, when I go to the fair, I just love the real basic foods. You know, I love getting, like, the spuds with the sour cream and the bacon and the chives and all that kind of stuff. And another thing I really like is just your basic original corn on the cob. Love corn on the cob at the fair. You know, they put a whole pile of butter on it, and, uh... Yeah, man. But, uh, you know, sometimes less is more with food. Oh, son of a biscuit! Keep trying, Rick. Keep trying. I was born at... Oh, we got this. And thank you, Nick. Nick with the 50 stars. Thank you, Nick. Nick, this one's going out to you, my brother. Appreciate the support. Chris says, do we have IHOP in Australia? We don't, Chris, but we have a chain over here uh, called the Pancake Manor. Our big pancake uh, pa uh, chain is called Pancake Manor. They do pretty cool pancakes and steaks and things like that. Um, the one in Brisbane where I live is probably one of the only 24-hour pancake manners in the country, actually. So, uh, it's a really cool place to hang out here. It's very popular. Uh, what thank you screen did Facebook kick me for? I'm actually not sure what screen they kicked me for, to be honest. I think it was probably Happy Gilmore. Uh, but I filed a dispute because, I mean, the same principle applies with all my thank you screens. Just so you guys know one more time, I actually got blocked by Facebook yesterday. Uh, because my thank you screens, uh, it's not Facebook's fault because they have an automatic screening system, you know what I mean? Uh, but I filed a dispute and Facebook, I uh, won. Facebook was like, your, your content qualifies for fair use and uh, they left me alone. And I've got a lot more respect for Facebook after that. You know, it, it's nice that Facebook went to bat for the little guy for once, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, with YouTube, the problem with YouTube is if you file a fair dispute claim and you fail, uh, you get a strike. Like, they have a zero tolerance policy on YouTube, you know what I mean? So, I feel like Facebook system is a, a lot more, fuck, a lot more fair. At least for myself, anyway. Be right with you guys. This is, oh, gosh, damn it. Alright, we got, man, that was really freaking hard. How you doing, the Awesomeness Destroyer? Good to see you. You'd buy that for a dollar? I certainly would as well. Kenneth says he went to the IHOP for breakfast today. I like waffles. I don't think our waffles in Australia are as good as the waffles you guys do. But, you know, I like waffles. I like waffles as much as the next person. I'm probably going to have to die here on purpose, because I want to keep my E-Tanks for as long as possible. Oh my goodness, Dave! Thank you so much, brother! David with 500 stars already. What can we give to David today? There we go. Big shout out from Australia, my friend. Here's some Aussie culture. There we go, David. Thank you so much for the support, man. Appreciate ya. And also, Mrs. Troy says you got an old lady to buy you a little a liter of pop in the store for free. Well, damn, man. Look at you tuning up the old ladies. David with yet another 500 stars. David, can you can dig you that dig sucker? It? Can you dig it? How you going, Damiana? Sorry if I missed you there, girl. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Man, that is super, super generous of you, bud. Thank you so much. Charles, <laughs> that is a good point. Charles says if he stays in this chat for too much longer, he's going to give himself the diabetes. <laughs> yeah, that makes two of us. That totally makes two of us. You're waiting for a Crocodile Dundee one of those. Andrew, I've got uh, a Crocodile Dundee screen. I'll do, uh, next time I get a star donation, uh, I'll, do a, I'll do a Crocodile Dundee shout out for you. That's no problem. 
Do you, oh wait, you can charge up. Alright, let's try that again. I don't know how to use the Pharaoh ability, it's been a long time, so let me work it out. I think I think this thing will be two shot death if I if I charge the, the thing up. Yeah, there we go, just gonna keep charging it. Oh gosh man, if he hits you it's a lot of freaking damage. Alright, let's try this again, we'll get it. Oh, this, this guy is really freaking hard. Whatever you do, just don't let him touch you and you should win. Oh, fuck you, man. Did I just really do that? Oh, gosh, man. This is a hard. I'll be right with you. Dustin, thank you, man. Dustin with the 300 stars. All right, you got that. You call that a knife? Let me just find my knife screen. I'm trying to find my knife screen for you. Here we go, knife. Here you go, Crocodile Dundee. Knife. <laughs> thank you, Dustin. That's a knife. Mega Man is a tits. Yeah, guys, as I said, like, I always play the original Mega Man game, so I don't think there's anything wrong with playing Mega Man on stream as long as you mix the titles up a bit, you know, so. Lately, we've done 1, 2, and 3. We did 10. Uh, we did number 9 pretty recently. Uh, we did number 11 recently, so I'm just trying to be a good sport and give some of the... Oh, my gosh! Fuck this guy, brah! Fuck this guy! Oh, hang on. I'm just getting really freaking cranky here. It's all right. Oh, God damn it! Oh, there we go. Come on, Rick. There we are. Oh, we're so close. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. One more. One... Oh, for the love of God. All right, we got him. Better late than never. John says, if you had deep fried edible undies? I have not. What do deep fried undies taste like? Ryan says, ring man is cheap. Thank you for being on my side, Ryan. I appreciate you. Super Troopers reference. I, I like Super Troopers. And I just haven't seen that movie enough to memorize it word for word. And we got Daniel over on YouTube. Thanks for coming in, Daniel. We got Bryant on Facebook. Thank you for coming in, Bryant, as well. We appreciate you, man. You guys are watching Mega Man 4 today. And uh, how do you like the lay layout of everything today, by the way, guys? I just want to make sure it's all clean and you guys are enjoying. Because uh, I'm, I'm working with my setups lately. What else are we going to do? We're going to do Dust, uh, Dustman next. Dustman. Alright, we're going to do Dustman. Alright, let's see how we go against Dustman. The ring is a good weapon too. Similar to Metal Blades, but not quite as good. That kind of reminds me of Mega Man, uh, 3, where you had the Shadow Blade. I felt like in Mega Man 3, the Shadow Blade was really good, just not quite as good as the Metal Blades. You know, we, we, we were all in agreement that Metal Blade and Mega Man's probably the most OP weapon in the existence of Mega Man games. Uh, you're only going to come across that once in a life. Fuck! Oh, gosh damn it. Alright, that's what happens. You just got to stop rushing, Rick. When you rush, that's when you make mistakes, you little dickhead. Alright, cool. And Cannibal, uh, Daniel, thank you, man. Alright, dead or alive. As I said, I'd rather you guys send a request to my inbox. But uh, Daniel, no worries. I'll write that down. Daniel. Uh, yep. Dead or alive, too. Or alive, too. Alright, Daniel, no worries, man. We'll sort that out. Ryan, you want Stone Cold? Ryan with 78 stars. Thank you very, very much, man. Where, Where is this? This one's going out to you, Ryan. Thank you for the donation. Oh, thank you, Charles. Appreciate you, man. I, I don't want to go too crazy with my layouts. I definitely think less is more, but obviously I'm, like, adding widgets and, uh, and extra things to my streams now. You know, I just want you guys to far out. I just want you guys to feel as, uh, more appreciated, you know what I mean? So I like to... Oh, Jesus! Oh, my gosh. It's not my idea of a good time, this level. This is... <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, at least we've got our health back. You, the Metal Blade stayed on go with you on Mega Man 3. Oh, thank you, Don. Appreciate you, man. Charles says he's had deep fried love. Fuck! Ah! Every time I read a comment, I die. How you going, Grizzly? Good to see you. Grizzly's like, holy baby face one coin. Yeah, man. Well, you know what? I'm not going to lie to you guys. Mrs. One Coin, and, and Mrs. One Coin, if she's watching, she'll vouch for this. Uh, she prefers the baby face Rick. So, you know, happy wife, happy life. I, I need Mrs. One Coin to be turned on by me, so if she doesn't want me to have facial hair, well, she's going to be the boss on this one. It's alright, don't worry, I'm not a complete pushover. You know, there's some things that I'm the boss on as well, but, uh, you know, if she, if she doesn't want me to wear facial hair, I can accommodate that. I was getting sick of it anyway. 
Alright, we're gonna go back over here. Man, this is hard. Come on, someone drop some health for me. Um, Alright, cool. There's a, there's a little bit of slowdown in this section, too. No, no, not literally Mrs. One Coin. Uh, in Australia, we say Mrs. even if you have a girlfriend. I, I, I've never been married, got no kids, nothing like that. No. <laughs> I'd like to get married one day, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the future. Oh gosh! Oh, e either it, it doesn't. It doesn't matter, Daniel. Of uh, Daniel, by the way. Sorry, I just got your comment. Uh, either inbox is fine, man. It just really, really helps me uh, if you send it to the inbox instead. Then I don't have to slow down the stream. You know what I mean? Cam says Mega Man 4 is one of his favorites. How you going there, Cam? Oh, I really like Mega Man 4. It doesn't always like me so much. But I enjoy this game. Do you think I should use an E-Tank? Uh, I'm trying to hold off on the E-Tank for as long as I can. Because, you know, I want to try and stockpile the E-Tanks for the end of the game. So I'm, 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 I'm relying on my save states more than anything, you know? I don't know how easy it is to get E-Tanks in this Mega Man game. Captain BS, maybe you'll know. Is there, is there a place in here that you can grind for the aforementioned E-Tanks? Deep Fried Lion, wow. I don't think it's a good idea to have Deep Fried Lion, guys, because, uh, you know, they're endangered and everything. How you going, Timmy? Good to see you. And Steven wants to know, what do I think the hardest Mega Man X game is? I'm not going to be able to an answer that for you, because I never really got into the X series. But that's a question for everyone else. Awesome Mr. Destroyer says he likes Skull Man. Deep fried elephant trunk. Uh, yeah, I think you'll get Peter, the Peter organization after you if you're like uh, eating elephant. How you doing? You know. Oh gosh. I think they're hidden on each level. Oh crap! That was close. All right. Yeah, we're gonna have to use an E tank now. There's no getting out of it. All right. Well, we got that aforementioned E tank going. I was saving it for the very, very last minute. All right, we got this. And you think five and six are the hardest? Oh, look, we made it out, guys. You're proud of me? If you're not proud of me, I totally would be. Just saying. <laughs> so what else is happening, guys? I can't thank you all enough for coming in. I hope you're enjoying the stream. As you guys know, I started a little bit later today. I had my energy drink. I had a little sleep. I just wanted to be full of energy for you guys, so I hope you're noticing a difference. Maybe a little bit too much energy. How you going, Anthony? Anthony, I'm doing great, thank you, man. Just like I said, it's a really good day. That was a little bit close. You don't get much closer than one hit point left, do you? Man, I like to live life on the edge, Steven. What can I tell you? Okay, cool. I hope so, Captain BS. Ca Ca Captain BS right now is like my Jiminy Cricket. He's like the angel on my shoulder. Aren't you, Captain BS? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear, Link. Alright, here we go. So apparently the ring weapon's OP. I guess we're about to find out. It does, it does seem to be pretty OP. That's all he's gonna do is just jumpy jumpy over. Man, the ring weapon kicks freaking ass, bro. Fuck you, dust man. You ain't got shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, cool. I'll calm down. We're gonna do Skull Man next, I'm pretty sure. How you going, man? You're good to see you, girl. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Guys, don't forget to check out Manya's page. I think, uh, speaking of muscle relaxers, I would love to go on Valium right now. Uh, because I, I get really stiff and tense muscles, like, because, you know, I don't know. I th obviously, you guys know I stress way too much. I think have, just relaxing the muscles a bit would definitely improve my mood. I doubt the doctor will give me any, though. It's really, really hard to get prescription drugs, uh, drugs in this country. But anyway, what do we got? We got, we got, uh, Skull. No, hang on. Skull Man next. Yeah, okay, Skull Man. Alright, here we go. Skull Man, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing, King Wolf? Good to see you. No, I don't think you're the devil, Ryan. How you going, JC? We got the OG gamer in the house. Joel says I should have deep fried, uh... You're a little bit pissy today, Manya. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. What's going on? Who do I need to punch? It's not Monday. You're only supposed to feel pissy on Mondays. <laughs> Anthony, thank you, man. Anthony says, Rick, I'm glad you're doing well. Between you and Commodore, make... 
Oh, no worries, bro. I appreciate it, Anthony. And I appreciate the respect for the rest of the team too, man. We all do great things here. Anthony with a massive 1,000 stars. Anthony, this one's going out to you, brother. Thank you for the support today. Thank you so, so very much. It's so bad. At the end of the day, guys, it doesn't matter if you're here every day, every week, or every month, like I say, every stream. As long as you guys are enjoying the content, uh, that makes me happy. Up on my personal page right now, uh, I've got a, a status asking you guys what we could do uh, to improve the page. Definitely take advantage of that, guys. Uh, because, you know, we, you know, I know we do really, really well here already, but we can do better. You know, we want to keep improving the product for you guys. Um, a lot of people have suggested we start another multiplayer show. Uh, I want you guys to know that we are working on that right now. Uh, every Sunday now for our VIP stream, if you have a subscription, it's going to be a multiplayer stream. So if you have the games that we're playing, you're welcome to join. And we're going to try and do another late night uh, multiplayer uh, show going forward as well. So I just want to know that want you guys to know that you have been listened to. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking for multiplayer streams. They are coming. So, I was just talking about that to D-Wayne and a few other people today. No worries, Anthony. My pleasure. And, and Jamie says he actually has some Aussie friends over for a visit right now. That's pretty cool. Aussie people are a great people to party with, I'm just saying. Yeah, no Smackdown spoilers, please. Or, please, or yes, correct. Smackdown spoilers equal dick punches. Or aforementioned dick punches. <laughs> you think I should use a charge shot more? Everyone, you know, I'm so crappy with the charge shot, but you know, you're probably right. I need to get in the habit of using the charge buster more. Oh, I can't even reach this sucker. Alright, oh, there you go. The charge shot does make a lot of difference, doesn't it? And Anthony says, do we need any new streamers? Um, I would love new streamers, but right now I can't afford any more other people on the team. Keep in mind, all the money that I'm making is supporting me and the rest of the team now, so I can only have uh, so many streamers on right now, but we are looking for more streamers in the future, so even though we're not hiring now, uh, that's going to change. Uh, so Captain BS says in this stage there's a few e-takes hidden, so be on the lookout. Alright, we're going to look for some e-takes here. How you going, Sean? Good to see you. You're going to have to buy some multiplayer games on the Switch. Yeah, our first multiplayer game today is probably going to, uh, this week is probably going to be, um, probably going to be Mario Kart. We're going to try it for Mario Kart and, uh, see how we go. I don't know if I can go this way or not. Let's have a look. Can I actually fit in there? Or maybe I have to jump right off the edge. Okay, that might work. Alright, cool. So we got this aforementioned e tank Hooray! You'll send me a message to keep on the back burner? Yeah, absolutely, no worries. Alright, cool, we made it. There you go, there's another E-Tank. So we got two of the suckers again now. Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, son of a freaking biscuit! Oh my gosh, my jumpy, my jumpy, jumpy skills are, are freaking horrible. Any plans on a WWE multiplayer? No, I don't think that's mainstream enough. It, the multiplayer games we're going to do are going to be things like Mortal Kombat, uh, Grand Theft Auto, Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, all the really, really mainstream stuff, so more people have copies of those games, you know what I mean? You know, because we're always going to get complaints when we do multiplayer streams, oh, I don't have that console, or I don't have that game. The one thing I absolutely hate about the multiplayer idea is that you're never going to be able to keep everyone happy. But we are going to try it, and we're still going to do the best we can. But in order for it to work, we need to do the most mainstream games possible. And, uh, yeah, I think Steve Mario Kart's a great start, for sure. You st I, st I stole your line, son of a biscuit, but Payron, it's such a wonderful line. Take it as a compliment. Payron, imitation's the most sincere form of flattery. You see? I'm just trying to compliment you, good sir. <laughs> now, don't forget, after this stream is finished, uh, if you guys can't sleep... Uh, we're going to be doing some GTA, we're going to do some story mode, and then we're going to dive into the new online content. We're going to go play in the casino and everything. Should be a lot of fun. What's up, Gerardo? You want me to do Plumbers Don't Wear Ties multiplayer? That game is so funny, man. I remember ADD Gamer did uh, Plumbers Don't Wear Ties as, as a laugh, and, and no one took it as a joke. They're like, what the fuck is this game? And I was like... If you understood the origin of Plumbers Don't Wear Ties and why it's such a, a horrible, fun game to play, just watch ADD Gamers Review, you'll understand. 
Not ADD, sorry, the Angry Video Gamers review. Plumbers, plumbers, plumbers don't wear ties. It is like so bad, it's good. <laughs> what are we going to do next? We're going to do uh, Dive Man. Alright, so Drill Man's going to be lucky last. Alright, we got this. So you're going to have to help me once we get up to the bosses, by the way, Captain BS. Awesomeness Destroyer says, can we do some multiplayer Street Fighter? Possibly, that could be an idea as well. Maybe number five. I don't know how many people own Street Fighter. I think most people own Mortal Kombat games these days, but we'll see how we go. In Diamond Sage, there's a pit that you need to fall down. Thank you, Steve. I'll have a look for that aforementioned pit. I think I've lost all my... Oh, yeah. I think there's certain bonus items I was supposed to get that I haven't got. So I, I think I've screwed up. Dive Man, yeah, I'm gonna go for a dive. Looks like, looks like Dive Man is kind of like Bubble Man's bastard cousin, essentially. I think they're in the same family. You'll probably see like Bubble Man hanging out in the background, smoking a joint or something. I'm just kidding. That's a terrible joke. <laughs> Yo, you got my back on that. It's straightforward. Yeah, because number three was a real. Okay, I need to charge up my Buster again. I'm trying to charge up the aforementioned Buster here. I don't know how much of a, dis uh, a difference a Buster's making, but... Alright, cool, we made it. Saving. And, uh... Oh, no worries, Gerardo. I'm glad you're enjoying. Thank you for coming in. And, uh... Bubble Man and Dive Man go to the same reunions. Yeah, you know. They're like second cousins. They're like Tasmanians. They're probably more than just family, if you get what I'm saying. Anyway, I, I, I took that joke too far. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to use another one of these E-Tanks, I think, unfortunately. It is. Oh no, here we go. Hopefully we can make it out of here. How am I supposed to get out of this? I think you can use a submarine ability, can't you? Let's see if we can use a submarine. Oh, son of a fucking biscuit. How are you supposed to get out of there? Okay, I've got an idea. Like that. Oh, that's pretty... That's tricky, but I, I did it. All right, let's go. You just, you just have to think outside the box, I guess. Good night to you too, Sink. Thank you so much for hanging out, bro, Seth. I appreciate you very much. If uh, Lauren thinks Bubble Man and Dive Man might be father and son. And we got a raid from Voxney. Good to see you, Amber. Thank you so much for coming in. We got Terrence in here. Good to have you, Terrence. Don't forget, guys. Blind Gamer Awareness. Hashtag it. Good to see you, Voxney. We appreciate you very, very much here at One Coin Girl. How you doing today? You alright? That was actually, for once, that was actually better without the, the aforementioned freaking, uh, well, you know what. And Terrence says he's about to snack on some uh, yogurt pretzels. I've actually got a, a pretzel story. Um, in Australia, we have, do you guys know the Take 5 chocolate and pretzel bars, right? I was really, really devastated because I actually took them off the market over here. But they've now released a new line of chocolate pretzels in Australia in, at Woolworths. And man, I love chocolate pretzels, bro. They're the shiznits. I'm so happy that I can eat them again now. Who, who, who else here likes chocolate pretzels? They're like the bomb diggity. That's all. Oh, crap. Oh, son of a biscuit! We're gonna get out of here, don't you worry, guys. And I do apologize for being so, uh, horrible at this game, but, you know, you, you learn on the job sometimes. It's all about learning on the job. I'm trying to learn on the job, anyway. Jumpy, jumpy. How are you doing today, by the way, Seth? I may, I may need to use this, uh, E-Tank again. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. We'll find some more E-Tanks. If not, we're pretty screwed at the end, but uh, I'm going to try and find the E-Tanks. You won $40 on Win for Life. Oh, is that like one of those scratchy tickets? We do those in Oz as well. Good old scratchy tickets. Is there anything over here we need to check? Not sure if we're supposed to fall down there or not. It's like a secret little entranceway by the looks of it. Okay, cool. Well, that's alright. Yogurt pretzels as well? Oh, yogurt pretzels sounds like they'd be tasty too. You've got a choice of two here. Alright, cool. So we got the W, whatever that does. And uh, yeah, over here we do the regular chocolate pretzels, and then we do the, the dark chocolate pretzels as well. Um, yeah, so they're, they're the kind of pretzels that we do. I prefer the dark chocolate ones. They've got a richer flavor. I, I feel like dark chocolate really suits pretzels. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear, Seth. What's going on with you, man? 
You like deep fried diamonds? I didn't even know that was an actual thing. How about that? <laughs> you play more rats with the pretzels? That's a cool movie. And we got Auden saying hello. Auden, thank you for coming in. Guys, you let me know if you bring your kids in as well, and I'll do my best to watch my language. You know, sometimes I get anxious and have a swearing fit. But, you know, when I'm relaxed and calm and normal, I, I lay off the swearing, as you can see. So, uh, I'll try and behave more if you have children in here, guys, because, you know... I mean, even though they're not gonna... They're gonna hear what I say in the, in the playground eventually, I'll still try and behave. Alright, cool. Just gonna go past these... Oh, crap. Well, that sucks. Jump over this sucker here. Alright, we made it. So I'm going to die on purpose so I can keep this E-Tank. And then we're going to do this boss. Alright, this is cool. I know, brother. I don't know what I'd do if, my, if I lost mine, so I feel you. Josh says he likes white chocolate pretzels. I've never had white chocolate pretzels before. That sounds like fun as well. She see his mummy say some bad words. It's a... We're all human, hey? We're all human. Uh, so what do I got to use? I've got to use a skeleton weapon next, right? Alright, Skull Weapon. A4 mentioned Skull Weapon. And, uh, have, uh, have, yeah, you have a good one, Link. Thanks for coming. Sorry you can't hang around today. Hopefully we'll see you later on. Oh, wow, this... Alright, I've got to work out the pattern in this. I'm just going to keep jumpy, jumpy around everywhere. Alright, that doesn't seem so bad. Alright, we got him. Alright, cool. So we just got one more dude left. And Jeffrey says he likes any kind of press pretzels. And Steve says, do Tim Tams come in white chocolate? I do think we have a, a white chocolate range of Tim Tams now. We've got so many flavors of Tim Tams. As I've always said, compared to America, the, the, the choices that we have for Australian snacky foods are nowhere near as high. But... For some reason, when it comes to Tim Tams, like, they're an Aussie staple, you know what I mean? We've got something like 20 plus flavors of Tim Tams now, it's great. Oh my goodness. Dust is dive bands. Oh, is it really? Are we going to do Drill Man this time? What, what's Drill Man weak against? Drill Man. Use dive missile. Alright, there we go. I might have got that wrong. Thank you for letting me know. How you doing, Pharrell? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Uh, guys, just quickly, don't forget about our subscription program, by the way. Uh, as much as I appreciate you guys all sending uh, star donations, uh, if you get a subscription, which is $4.99 a month, not only are you helping us out, uh, but they come with tremendous benefits too. Like, you'll go in the major prize drawer every time we do giveaways. You get a free request on whatever Wednesday. We have a VIP room, which we're going to be doing multiplayer games in that you can chat with everyone. Uh, amongst other things as well. So uh, if you've ever donated at one coin only and you've never gotten a subscription before, you can click on the green shield and find out more. And uh, the reason I bring it up, guys, is because it's much more better value to you than just sending stars, you know what I mean? So a big thank you to our 203 subscription holders already. You guys are the shiznits. Hey, doing, Vanessa? Good to have you. Chris wants to know what exactly is a Tim Tam. The Tim Tam is like a biscuit, or a cookie as you might call it. Uh, it's two, It's like basically like a rectangular biscuit with cream in the middle, and it'll be coated in chocolate, and different, uh, you know, there'll be different flavors. You know, so you can have the plain chocolate, you can have the triple chocolate, you can have like the Rocky Road flavor, you can have the salted caramel flavor, and uh, they're, they're just an Aussie staple. They're probably everyone in the, it's probably Australia's favorite dessert. Man, Seth, that sounds amazing. You got it, Alex. Alex with the 50 stars. Thank you very much, Alex. This one's going out to you. Don't forget to bring a towel. Don't forget to bring a towel. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Be sure to bring a towel so you don't get all wet. Alex, don't forget to bring a towel. You're going to get wet, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Thank you, man. We got that sucker. Thank you, Matthew. Glad you're enjoying today. Oh, I went the wrong way. Well, that was a bit stupid, wasn't it? I was looking at the chat. Your fault. Metal Slash, good to see you. Metal Smasher says Tim Tams are so addictive. You're damn right they are, bro. Love Tim Tams. Tim Tam life forever. Oh gosh, can I actually get out? I'm trying to get out of here. How am I supposed to get out? Oh, come on. There's got to be a way out. Okay, you just have to get right on the edge. That bit doesn't freaking mess around. 
How you doing, Marky Mark? Good to see you. Kem says he's going to get some Tim Tams on Amazon and give them a try. Every time I come to the United States, I'm going to bring Tim Tams and Vegemite. So if I ever meet you in person, uh, you guys can like uh, try it when you meet me. I When I came to the United States last year, I bought something like eight packets of Jumbo Tim Tams. And uh, trust me, I made so many new friends. They're a great icebreaker. <laughs> I made so many new friends just because I had Tim Tams. I guess you could say I was buying my friendship, but I don't care. We call them sugar wafers here. Oh, we do wafer biscuits in Australia too. They're a little bit different, I think. There we go. We got ourselves another aforementioned E-Tank here, guys. All good in the hood. <laughs> Deep fried twizzy sticks. Um, we, we have another thing in Australia called... Uh, uh, what are they called? Churros or whatever? You know those like long stick donut thingies? I think they're like a Spanish version of a donut. They're those long stick thingies that you like deep fry and put sugar on. I think they call them churros or whatever. You can also dip them in chocolate. Tastes absolutely amazing when you dip them in chocolate. Fucking asshole, man. Oh gosh, damn it. I think I need to slide under that. All right. Man, he still got me. This, this this game has been a real dick face. Hopefully we hopefully we get some help from these things. No. Man, this is freaking hard. It's alright, we're gonna get out of here. We made it. Oh gosh, man. Then we gotta hit this switch. What's the switch? Oh gosh, damn. Okay, get back over here. There's no health drops. When you actually need a health drop, you never freaking get one. Alright, just let me concentrate here for, here for a wee sec. Alright, oh gosh, damn. Alright, we made it. Man, this is. Oh, come on! There's a freaking rock there as fuck you! Really? Okay, we can, we can actually hit that switch and just... Alright, cool. Damn it! Oh, this is a this is absolute torture right now. I'll be right with you guys. Oh my gosh. How am I supposed to get past that? Oh, come on! I need an E-Tank. Oh, what the fuck? Alright, I need an E-Tank. I have to use yet another E-Tank here. I don't know how else I'm going to get past that. That's a pain. I have to take the hit. Oh my gosh, I bet this thing's going to drop health. No. Oh gosh, I'm really, really hating this level right now. I'm really, really hating this level. I hope we're close to the end. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to get past half of those. Alright, there we go. I'll be right back to the chat, guys. There we go. I'm going to have to lose a life on purpose and get my health back. Deep fried lobster tails. You guys deep fried lobster as well? I'm guessing you put it in tempura batter. I do like deep fried lobster, uh, or seafood. Uh, I've never had deep fried lobster before, but I've had deep fried prawns many times. Deep fried prawns are actually very popular here in Australia. Alright, so we're going to use, uh, we're going to use, uh, what's it called? I don't know what we're using. Yeah, you've returned in for the rage. Good to see you. Oh, you can actually shoot the rock? I didn't realise. Well, some fish. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. So what are we going to use here? Dive man. How you doing, Jerry? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming in. Welcome back, Fryzy. How's your missus doing today? Fryzy's on the phone talking to his girlfriend. When are you going to pop the question? When are you guys get married? Alright, cool. That's pretty straightforward, actually. We're just going to keep moving around, and that's about it. We're just going to keep moving, really. This is a pretty straightforward boss, guys. Just keep moving and, uh, Bob's your uncle, as we say in Oz. Man, I could have probably done that without losing a life, almost. Alright, cool. We're almost there. You like the Hadouken? That's in, uh, Mega Man X, right? I'm not really familiar with Mega Man X. I don't think I ever ended up getting the Hadouken in that. I'm, I'm, I'm a lousy Mega Man. I'm a lousy at Mega Man to begin with, but Mega Man X especially... <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, there we go. We finally got past. So, uh, Daniel says he started playing Days Gone. Anyone played that game yet? I've been meaning to. Um, it, it just haven't gotten around to it just because of time constraints. What are you, how are you finding it? Who 
who's talking about a sour subject. I hope I didn't bring up anything inappropriate. If I ever say anything inappropriate, guys, my bad. Honestly, my only intention is to give everyone a laugh and to have everyone to have a good time here at OneCoin. Even though I'm not perfect, that's what my intentions are. Daniel says he loves the Mega Man X series. One day I'll try my hand at them more. But you know, I played Mega Man X for the first time pretty recently. And I lasted all of, what, uh, five minutes, I think? And, uh, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I probably ended up beating Mega Man X, but it took me four and a half hours when it takes most people one hour. So you can just imagine how much I struggled. Oh, that's alright. I'm glad you're liking it, Daniel. She's good and you're not going to pop the question for a long time. That's alright. I mean, you take your time. Payroll says he likes him some deep fried pickles. And Andrew thinks Mega Man uh, X7 and 8 are the best. They're the ones on PlayStation 2, right? The Ring Boomerang will be the weapon for the first boss. Keep your eyes out for E-Tanks. Roger Dodger will do our best there. We need to save every single E-Tank we get now, no matter what. If I die, I die. Uh, just gonna try and stay alive for longer than five seconds. It's a shame after the first three Mega Man games, the music were nowhere near as good as the originals. Although I must say the music in Mega Man 10 and 11 I thought were were pretty good. But like all the Mega Man games in the middle, like you know four, five, six, all that kind of thing, I don't think the music was anywhere near as good as the ones in the original. But there's only so many tunes you can do before you run out of ideas, I guess. Son of a bitch. Try this again. Alex says Mega Man just received some aforementioned power power ups. He did, you know. <laughs> exactly, 100%. Mega Man. I mean, I could play Mega Man 2 all day long just for the tunes. And Payron thinks Mega Man X 1 to 4 is the best for him. Yeah. So yeah, I mean that's a good question, guys. If you had a favorite Mega Man game, what would it be? Do you have to use a Buster for this guy? Yeah, the Buster. All right, there you go. I just charged that up. Don't worry, guys. I got this. Oh. Charging up the buster again. Come on, Rick, get that buster going. I'm trying to charge up the buster. It's easier said than done. Alright, cool, we're going to make it over here. Charles wants to know if I'm a backup dancer for Madonna. Oh my gosh. I would not be involved in uh, Madonna's life in any way, shape, or, or, or form. I think getting involved with Madonna in a business sense or a personal sense is probably bad news. <laughs> oh god, I'm trying to charge it. Come on, Rick. Alright, we got him. What else have we got there? Brian says Mega Man 2 and 3 are his favourites. Forgive me if I'm not so chatty right now, guys. I, I will be in a sec. I'm just... As you can see, this is causing me so much bother this level at the moment. Hoping to put an end to it. Now, is there any E-Tanks over here? We're going to find out. Alright, there's a, a magic tank. We don't really need that right now. Sliding on the ice is also not my idea of a good, good time. Oh, crap, that was close. And Lauren says he's not much of a Mega Man guy, but never... Oh, yeah, that's right, because you have requested Mega Man before. I'm surprised you're not much of a Mega Man game, because you've requested Mega Man games, I'm pretty sure, before... Uh, on whatever Wednesday. Just want to remind you guys as well, we are currently uh, dual streaming on both Facebook and YouTube, guys. I want to thank everyone that's watching on both platforms. And, uh, you know, some people prefer Facebook, some people prefer YouTube, so we try to do our best to stream on both. We'll try this again, hey? Jeffrey says his girlfriend dumped him, and it's... Oh, I'm sorry, man. Dude, uh, I, you know what? Every pot has its lid, my friend. I know it's really, really hard right now, and I know everyone says it. But, uh, you know, dude, there really is something, someone for everyone, man. And I'm, I'm sure there's another girl for you around the corner, brother. I know nothing I can say right now is going to help you with your pain, but, uh, Jeffrey, you're among good people here, man. We're here for you, hey? You just, you just keep uh, being your awesome self. Everything will be all right. And Felix thinks next generation Mega Man sucks. I really love Mega Man 11. I think Mega Man 11 is the best Mega Man game in a number of years. I mean, c compared to the original... Oh, gosh damn it. How do I get through here? I don't know. Okay, no. I, 
I get it. I actually do get this. Oh, almost there. Come on, we could do it. Oh, no. So, I've got to... Alright, cool. Alright, we made it. Alright, so we need to go back down this way. Felix says he doesn't want the classic. He wants Mega Man ZX3. What's ZX3? Alright, cool. We made it. Alright, that was a little bit of a handful, but better late than never, as they say. Okay, cool. Use a jet there. Oh, Captain BS. Hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't it? I need the balloons I missed. What balloons did I miss, Steve? I don't even know what balloons I missed. Forgive me, guys. As I said, I'm a total noob at this game, so I don't even know what I'm missing because I've only ever played through this like once before. I'm just trying to step out of the box, guys. So we're going to use the ring here, apparently. Uh, not yet, you're not yet, Carlos, but I'll, I'll get to it, brother. Sorry, Carlos, I don't want you to think I'm being rude, bro. I've just had so much going on. I just haven't had a day to sit down with it. I just it's not, it's not that I'm ungrateful for your gift, brother. I've just been so incredibly busy. I, I, I unwind a couple hours in the evening before bed with, like, maybe a game for myself. That's the only downtime I get. Gosh, we can do this. We're gonna slide underneath. All right, there we are. Just saved here. Oh damn it! Quick, slidey, slidey, mix, slide, slide. As long as he, as long as he doesn't touch you with that drill. Oh come on! How hard is it to hit the freaking ring? Man, this is a real pain. Oh gosh, we're almost there. We did it. I mean, that wasn't as easy as I was expecting. Alright, what else have we got? Oh my gosh. Yeah, thank you, Carlos. I'll, I will get to it, man. I'm, I'm trying to take some time off soon. As I said, like, I, I do work every day. And that's not a complaint. But uh, I just I just let everyone know, you know, I work every day. So when, when people come in, whether it's like uh, content or a meme or a video, like, and they say, Rick, have you checked this? Rick, Rick have you checked that? I'm just basically letting you know, guys, I'm not deliberately being rude. I just really don't get a lot of time to myself, so... Like, when I'm usually not on stream, or working on something for the stream, I like to go incognito, just because I'm a little bit of an introvert, you know what I mean? That's just how I get my mojo back. Next weapon is a dust weapon. Thank you, Captain BS. If there's any, if there's anyone here causing problems, let me know. I, I think, I feel like I've been missing something. Is there someone causing any issues right now? Again, if you're coming here to watch one coin only, uh, we're just all about having positivity and laughs, guys. We just all want to have a good time, you know, share our love of video games and any other topic that we bring up. Uh, we want to do our best to keep this positive only, guys, so please don't compromise that. Anyone that may be causing trouble, I don't know if they are, are or not, I'm just saying. And Daniel says he just tried the KFC Cheeto Chicken Sandwich. And what, oh, fuck! What, what did you think? The KFC Chicken Cheeto Sandwich. And what did you think? What do you think Capcom is lazy? These days they're probably resting on their laurels a little bit, but come on, let's let's be let's give Capcom credit where credit is due. Uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake was an absolute masterpiece. That game is phenomenal. Like you know, Capcom is still bringing out good games. You know, they just make some poor decisions sometimes as well. And they're a little bit greedy. Like, I'm see, I, what I really, really hate is, like, when you buy games on the Switch, and just because uh, they're on the Switch, you get what's called a Switch tax. And what that means is the games are more expensive just because they're on the Switch. That's actually really, really freaking annoying. Anyway. <laughs> How you going, Kevin? Good to see you, my man. Thank you for hanging out. I'm just going to use this jet again, because, you know, whatever. Oh, damn, really? Did I just do that? I think I did. Alright, well. I think, okay, let's do this again. Alright, cool, we made it. Alright, we got it. This bit's not so hard anyway. And you're not mad or disappointed, just double checking. Oh, no, that's okay. Thank, thank you, Car Carlos. And I think my point is, I just didn't want you to think I wasn't great. Oh, gosh, damn it. I don't want you to think I'm not grateful. Because I am very much, thank you, sir. 
Oh, okay, this one's a little bit trickier. Oh, gosh damn it. John, thank you, man. You're always causing problems. I don't believe that for a second. Thank you very, very much. This one's going out to you, John. John with the 50 stars. If you can dodge a wrench, we got Drew over on YouTube. Good to see you, Drew. How are you traveling today, my man? I haven't had a proper chat with you, Drew, for a little while. I hope your day is going absolutely amazing. Felix says Konami needs a new TMNT game. You know, Konami still bring out those Turtles games. But, uh, you know, a lot of people haven't played them for a, a number of years. Because I think people miss the old 2D Turtles games. But I actually played uh, the, the 3D Turtles game uh, on PlayStation 4. It actually got a little bit of a, a bad rap. But it actually wasn't so bad, guys. I, I genuinely enjoyed it. They came out with a game called Turtles. I think it's called Mutants in Manhattan. And uh, I played through the whole thing and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It, be, it only takes you about four hours to finish the game. Uh, but there's like multiple difficulties and stuff, and it's uh, it's pretty solid. There we go, we made it. Better late than never. How you going, D-Wayne? Welcome to the stream. We got Stacy back in the house. Guys, don't forget, One Coin Only is also sponsored uh, by Stacy's Fresh Graphics, guys. So if you if you, if you uh, mention my page and you want anything, any art design done, uh, Stacy will hook you up basically with mates rates if you mention one point only so uh, if you need any art done for any reason whether it's a th YouTube thumbnail or a t-shirt design uh, check out Stacy everyone Drew says he's been streaming and working on other projects well just I just want you to know that we still miss you brother we appreciate you Drew thank you for coming in today oh, I gotta go back over here Timmy with a hundred stars Timmy thank you so much bro Timmy I'm gonna be right with you my man Timmy with 100 stars, what can we give Timmy today? Timmy, we are going to give you... Oh, we haven't done this one in a while. Thank you, Tim. 100 stars. Yeah, I mean, I, I love hanging out with people. As I said, it's just my personality type is very much, in, you know... Like, bas basically what that means is, like, after I've entertained, like, all day... Uh, what I'll do is I'll relax by myself, and that's how I get my mojo back. That's all it pretty much means. A lot of people, I don't want you to confuse being an introvert with the fact that I don't like people. I like people very, very much. I think whether you're an introvert or an extrovert just means how you recharge and get your energy back. And, uh, you know, some people get their energy back with large crowds of people. Uh, you know, I, I get my energy back with quiet time. You know, everyone's different. Actually, to be honest, I kind of feel like I'm halfway between introvert and extrovert. Sometimes I do get my energy off uh, people, but not off. Anyway, I'm just rambling on now. Everyone's like, well, Rick, we don't need to know your whole freaking life story. Well, you know what, guys? I told it to you anyway. <laughs> yeah, Scott. Oh, gosh, I accidentally fucked up. I'm so sorry, guys. I forgot to say. Oh, let's do this again. Son of a bisque. We'll get it. We'll get out of there. Damn it! I hate this section so much. All right, there we go. We made it. All right, let's make sure we don't fuck it up this time. Sorry about that before. Everyone's like, well, Rick, talk about backtracking. It's all right, guys. We're going to recover. <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm just going to concentrate. Get up there, Rick. Get that eat. Okay, cool. Stupid ass. There you go, you guys are playing the dice game. You know, I still not worked out how to play the, the dice game. Is, he gonna, is this thing going to move or what? Alright, cool, we made it. Alright, now we're saved, so we're not going to screw this up again. I totally need that extra life. I think I need that extra life. I'm going to work on it. Alright, so we're going to save here. Did I see a message? No, David, can you copy and uh, paste it for me, dude? And I'll, I'll get right back. Oh, fuck. I'll get right back to you, Dave. Again, forgive my rudeness, good sir. Oh, gosh darn it. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, come on. I tell you what, they don't make it easy to get these uh, extra lives, do they? Oh, it's alright, we'll get it this time. Saving over here. Alright, cool, we finally got it. Took me an hour, didn't it? All that trouble for one extra life. 
Drew says you got the durian fruit and your roommates are telling you to eat it outside. Yeah, you mean you don't even know what you're in for until you actually try it yourself, right? Alright, cool. We're finally here, guys. Thank you again for hanging out. Just one more reminder. After this game, guys, we are going to be playing some GTA 5 online tonight. Uh, online and offline. We're going to do part two of the story mode. And then, uh... So how do I get up here? Okay, I've got to try this again. How you doing there, John? I knew you'd be in here, John. I know you're always here whenever we do a Mega Man game, good sir. Oh gosh, I'm try trying to work out the, the, the pattern for this. Alright, okay, that's it. So dust is the right weapon, correct? Okay, looks like dust is working out for us, sort of, I guess. It looks like we're a step ahead. Oh, this is pretty straightforward as long as you're using the, the right... Oh, crap. Crap, crap, cakes. Well, that, that kind of sucked that time. <laughs> Andrew says, oh, no, not GTA 5. You don't like GTA 5? What's wrong with GTA 5? I'm not allowed to play a new game late at night for once. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to keep everyone happy. It's a very hard thing to do, you know? Some people like the retro games, and some people uh, like the old school games. So I'm trying to do both. Can't keep everyone happy, but I want to. I hate it. <laughs> I'm too much of a people ple pleaser. Stop playing into my weakness as a human being. Oh, we got this sucky. Come on, couple more hits. Alright, just a couple more hits and that should be over Red Rover. Da Daniel says you can't please every fish, but I want to get close. I can't, but I can try. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and Andrew says he hasn't liked any GTA games since number three. That's a real shame, because I think they've released a lot of good ones. And Danny says the bounce boss Mega Man 11 stage is the hardest level, you think? The bounce stage is pretty hard. I love the music in that level, though. It's a fun, you know, the bounce stage in Mega Man 11 makes you feel like you're in the carnival. And I kind of like that. But uh, this one's going out to you. Thank you, Danny. 100 stars, sir. Thank you, man. Appreciate you very, very much. The third boss is the ring boomerang again. Are you assuming just because I'm an Australian, I know how to use a boomerang, Captain BS? So that's a little bit prejudiced against white people. No, I'm just kidding. That's a horrible joke. <laughs> I'll, I'll stop being such a smart ass. David, think you guys really didn't like GTA 5, huh? I thought the story in number 5 was phenomenal. Had a lot of uh, plot points in it. Wow, David thinks GTA uh, San Andreas was garbage. I mean, I'd agree it doesn't hold up as well today compared to, like, some of the others. But, man, I, I thought San Andreas was wonderful. I thought it was a cool game. Vice City is my all-time favorite, though. Like, if I had to pick a favorite, it's Vice City. If you guys had to pick a favorite GTA game, guys, what would it be? That's a, that's a good topic of combo. If you had to pick one GTA game to take with you forever, which one would it be? Jared with the 50 stars. Jared, thank you so much, man. To America! <laughs> I'm only kidding. Daniel says, don't say boomerang because it'll make Ricky heated. Ah, oh, well. I mean, to, you know, whatever. David says he likes GTA 5. I'm really excited to try the online mode tonight, guys, because, um, you know, they just came out with the casino content tonight. I was actually with my good friend today earlier called, uh, you know, you know Black Lion Gamers, you know Travis? Uh, he was actually playing uh, uh, the GTA 5 uh, Casino uh, DLC earlier today. And man, it looked really good. Looks like they've added a lot of content. I'm going to have to use a jet here, aren't I? Everyone's like, Rick, you dickhead, use a jet. And I'm like, okay, I'll use a freaking jet. Because it doesn't look like there's any way, other way of getting past this sub -ish. Well, that didn't work. All right, well, how am I supposed to get past this? Alright, we'll work it out. Oh, I don't know. I think, I think I'm just going to have to jump in the middle and take the hit from... How am I supposed to do this? Captain BS, I need... B this is BS, Captain BS. Alright, cool. We're going to go... Alright. Oh, God damn it! I'm going to take the hit on... Oh, God damn it! Alright, I've got an idea. I'll take one hit and I'll use the jet. This is really freaking annoying. Oh, for, oh my gosh, how am I supposed to do this? 
Here we go. Take the get the get, get the damn jet. Oh god damn it. Alright, oh, there you go. I'm just gonna take the hit. I hope I don't have to do any more. Man, that was freaking annoying! Alright, gosh. Seth just dropped two dollar super chat on YouTube. Seth says he's too tired to stay awake. You have a good night. I really, really appreciate you, Seth. This one's going out to you. Thank you very, very much, man. Use a dust weapon. The dust weapon to blow up the jewels. Press up, press the fire button the game after shooting them. Are oh, you gonna press the fire? Ah. Oh. All right. Well, I'll try that next time. I made. I obviously made that a lot harder for myself than I needed to. Hey. So yeah, everyone's saying use a drill to destroy them. So you can tell I'm such a noob at this game. I didn't know what the fudge I was doing. Oh gosh. It's all right. Better late than never, guys. Everyone's like, Rick, stop being so crap. And I'm like, well, this is my first time. There's no such thing as trash, as D-Wayne says. It's trash cannot. Trash can, not trash cannot. D-Wayne, I just totally butchered your saying. I'm sorry, D-Wayne. <laughs> I'm so random today. Oh, gosh. All right, cool. We've finally made it. Welcome back, Mania. Good to see you, girl. Thank you very much for hanging out. As with everyone else, we appreciate you hanging around, even with all my deaths. I guess I haven't really died that much. The secret the secret to being a successful streamer, guys, is to use save states. As I always say, every single day, save state saves lives. And uh, it's how I live my life, guys. And, you know, so, how are you supposed to get up there? Oh, what am I missing? How am I supposed to get that? Can I use the ring to collect that? Let's see if we can get use the ring boomerang. How am I supposed to get that E-Tank? Can someone tell me how to get that E-Tank? Uh, how, oh, what the, what, what the fudge? How am I supposed to get up there? Oh my gosh, I feel like that E-Tank's a troll. Drew says you're going to make me proud with streams. Drew, absolutely, man. And if you've got any, uh, if you need any advice or any help, you let me know as well, hey? Drew with the $2 super chat. Drew, thank you very much today, brother. You need the balloon to get the E, but I didn't get the aforementioned balloon. Okay, well, we'll let that one slide today then. Thank you, Cam. I guess I stuffed up. All right, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, man. you just got to use the tools that you've got in life, right? And John says apparently you put a combined 141 hours between your Mega Man Collection 1 and 2. That Why does that not surprise me, John? I just died on purpose to get my health back, so don't mind me. Uh, I want to try and save as many E-Tanks as I can. Oh, well, that didn't work out. Oh well, I guess I guess you don't get checkpointed in this room. Maybe Jet then Duck, I'm not sure. I thought it was, but I guess it isn't. And Amanda, Alexander says I should have collected, yeah. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, didn't, I guess, hey? Well, okay, well we're gonna have to use an E-Tank here, but... Damn it! I oh, say so the, the trick to this level is to do very, very little jumps. You don't hit the sucker. Little jumps like that. Oh, we can do that. That's not so bad. I, I think I think we can probably beat this guy without an E-Tank if we're careful. It's all, it's all about the timing of the little jumps here. Oh, crap. Okay, so he, he, he does get a little bit harder. Okay, maybe I'm going to have to use one. Oh, hey, we got him. Oh, no, there's one down there as well. How the fudge do I get the one at the bottom? How do you, how do you, oh, he's going to climb the wall? Well, son of a bitch. I should have known he was going to get harder, shouldn't I? Freaking dickhead. Oh, we're going to use another E-Tank. Oh, my goodness. Stacy says, is it true that Australia's number one export right now is boomerangs? And Stacy, I, I, I would expect those kind of jokes from the other people in the chat, but I would not expect it from you, Stacy. I'm not angry, Stacy. I'm just disappointed. You know, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. I thought you were my friend. <laughs> did I make? Did I make? Did I? Did I make you guilty, Stacy? Did I? Did I make you feel guilty, Stacy's like, nah, don't, don't give a shit, really. <laughs> oh my goodness, so random tonight. We're all so random. I am peeing off this energy drink. I seriously need more water. By the way, one more time, guys. Thank you for all the likes and shares. Don't forget the best way you can help one coin only out for free is by liking or sharing the stream, or even by leaving a comment. Basically, Facebook rewards us for the more engagement that we get. 
Kevin says, sorry, you're not that talkative. For some reason, you're not feeling too well. You might just need an early night, brother. I totally understand. I get, I get like that sometimes. Captain BS says, the next up is Dr. Kozak. He has no weakness, just busted the living piss out of him. All right, well, we'll do that. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna bust the aforementioned Dr. Kozak. And, uh, all right, we're gonna uh, get this one. And uh, we're gonna put this back into the ring power, because obviously the ring power is uh, really strong. Fosters and shrimp. I told you, we do prawns, not shrimp. Why do you guys not listen to me? They're prawns. Sons of bitches, they're prawns. <laughs> We don't do shrimp here. Most Australians haven't even seen a shrimp a day in their lives. I'm cereal. Right, there we go, another E tank. Well, at least they're in, at least they're in fair supply here, Captain BS. So, uh, has anyone finished SmackDown yet? Now, guys, uh, if, I'd appreciate it if you guys didn't give me any SmackDown spoilers. Uh, but to everyone that's watched SmackDown tonight, uh, I always ask you guys before I watch it, what would you rate it out of ten? If you had to rate tonight's SmackDown episode out of 10, what would you give it? Would you give it a 6, a 7, an 8? Do you think Eric Bischoff has put his hands on it yet? Or does it still feel like the same uh, everyday uh, SmackDown? I'm curious. You know, if Eric Bischoff is starting his own SmackDown uh, continuity, he's probably going to make a million stables or something. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to try and keep the ring powered up. That's just a good idea anyway, because that weapon is so OP, isn't it, Daniel? Oh, you only gave SmackDown 4 out of 10, hey? Oh, thank you, Jeffrey. Guys, as I said, like, uh, I do apologize if some days when I come on. I mean, they say you should never apologize for your personality. I'm not apologizing for my personality. I just uh, apologize if some days uh, I come on and I'm tired and I'm grumpy. But I just want you guys to all know you really, really are appreciated. And uh, as a person, I 100% know that there's no one point only without the lol people that watch. So uh, I just wanted you guys to know that I'm really thankful and really appreciative of you guys uh, coming in every single day, for better or for worse. You know, we kind of have a marriage here at one point only, don't we? I'm, I'm kind of like that temperamental wife, and then you come home and you buy me flowers and then I'm all in a good mood again, you know what I mean? I'm kind of I'm kind of like that. Ooh, uh, no spoilers! Did he really? But no spoilers! But I had a funny feeling he'd probably be on the show. I just had a funny feeling, but yeah, no spoilers. Dan Daniel's giving me SmackDown spoilers. And John says, what's the difference between a nappy and a diaper? I think just there's language, to be honest. I think I think in Australia we call it a nappy, and in the US you call it a diaper. I honestly think that's the only uh, difference, if I'm going to tell you the truth. Oh, no, you were joking. You're totally trolling. Oh, gosh. All right, well, I'm relieved, Daniel. I must say, I am, I am a little bit relieved. I don't, I don't need you ruining my wrestling shows. Oh, cool, okay, so I just need to do my little springy spring thing here. Totally need to use that arc oil. Alright, cool. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Okay, maybe we're not going to go up there. That seems to be more trouble than what, it is, what it's worth. I'm just going to go down here. Whatever. I don't need the help that much. <sighs> Hope, hopefully one of these enemies coming up will drop some help anyway. I don't want to keep using my E-Tanks, otherwise we might not beat this game today. Oh my gosh, so what's over here? I've filled up the ring enough, that should be cool. I'm not going to go up there and get that. Can I keep grinding these for health? I can, can't I? We're pretty much just going to keep grinding this until we get our health back. Oh, nice! I'm glad there's a, an exploit here. <laughs> you think so, V-Dubs? Yeah, the difference is Rick will wear a nappy. And there's, there's, there's three kinds of nappies. You've got nappies, diapers, and depends. And I think I'm probably going to be... I, I'm probably going to be wearing depends undergarments by the time I'm 40 years old. <laughs> oh, thank you, Drew. Yeah, man, absolutely. I'll, I'll add you to my list and everything. Send me the link to your page again. I'll add you to my favorites, Drew, and then we'll try and stream dump on you. I accidentally, you know, we, we, you know, one coin only wants to give back to the community as much as we can. And uh, if you have a new stream going, we will eventually uh, dump some viewers into your room whenever you're on. Um, I should say a stream raid. I always call it a stream dump. I make it sound like I'm taking a turd on people. That's uh, not. The, oh gosh, that's not the case. Oh, here we go, another live. 
to stand up and kill, no need to walk. Oh, really? Well, no, it, it is killing me. Oh, you mean like this? Oh, I see. Okay, we'll stay here. I get it. Thank you. You don't like WWE? You gave it a 0 out of 10? You, you don't like it when the boss fires everyone because he's always doing it? That can be a bit annoying. Oh, there we go. We're, we're cool. Alright, let's go. Sorry about that, guys. I was half asleep there. Everyone's like, Rick, crack and move. I'm like, okay. Looks like we're up to the boss here, guys, so it's all good. We've got plenty of lives here as well. So what weapon do I need to use again next? Well, we've got to bust to the next boss. Alright, cool. Oh, very nice, David. Congratulations. That sounds awesome. Alright, cool. So, the Buster totally seems to be the, the way to go here. Alright, cool. Seems to be a pretty straightforward boss here, Captain BS. As long as you just keep sliding along and don't let him pick you up. Looks like you're uh, golden in this one. Oh, damn, I screwed up. Alright, cool. Now we got this. I mean, this is probably the easiest boss we've done in ages. There's a bit of a plot twist coming up, though, very, very soon. Oh, damn it. There you go. I'm going to get the smackdown laid on me now. It's all right. Oh, now, he, now he's getting a little bit harder, but... Fuck you, boss! Oh, my gosh. I hate this guy. I was doing so good to begin with, and then I got arrogant. You know what happens? Every time I brag about my gaming abilities, I start to make stupid mistakes. I should just stay humble and shut my freaking mouth. All right, cool. Oh, thank you, Eli. I'm glad you're enjoying today. Stupid little claw grip, mother bitch. Come on. Come on, get out of there. That's another one. Get out of there, Rick. Come on, you can do this. Come on, Rick. Alright, you're still a step ahead. I'm going to save from there. Alright, cool. We're, we're hanging in there, guys. We got this. Oh, cool. Come on. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's all patience, really, at the end of the day, isn't it? All done. So who's this person? Please, Mega Man, don't. It's my daddy. My father is not really evil. Well, he's certainly trying to kill me. What do you expect me to do? Dr. Wily took me hostage and forced my father to fight me. Please, Mega Man, don't hurt my father anymore. And, oh, my gosh, David, thank you very, very much. David just sent 378 stars, and for no other reason, just because. David, that is super, super generous, my friend. You know, all those stars kind of make me hot, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much for your kind support, man. I really, really appreciate you today. Appreciate all donations, no matter how big, small, or small they are, guys. Thank you so much for everything you do for us. So what's going to happen here in this cutscene? Timmy with another 100 stars. Well, Timmy dropping it like it's hot. I still need to do a drop it like it's hot. Thank you, screen. You know, Pharrell Williams. I'm going to totally do that. Drop it hot. There you go. I'm totally going to do a drop it like it's hot. Thank you, screen. As long as I don't get flagged for it. Uh, this one's going out to you, Timmy. Timmy with 100 stars. Thank you very much, good sir. Yeah, holy shit. There you go. I cut that out right at the last minute, didn't I? Mega Man, forgive me. Alright. Well, there you go, he's not evil. You betrayed me, Proto Man. I'm gonna break you, Mega Man. Oh no, not Dr. Wily. Oh no. <laughs> oh gosh. Does this light come on yet? No, it's still flashing. What about colour? I don't even know what a colour is. I, I've never heard an Aussie word say colour. What is a K A L A? I don't know, you're teaching me my own language, Amanda. Captain BS says next up is the Wily section. Uh, Ring Boomerang will deal with the next two bosses. You got it, guys. We're going to use our aforementioned Ring Boomerangs here. Easy. We got this covered, guys. We're all good. All good in the hood. So Austin says he's got to be up at 5, so he's going to go to bed. Good night to you, Austin. I hope you have a wonderful evening, man. And as always, thank you for watching, brother. We appreciate you being a part of OneCoin all this time. 
Jeffrey with the pretend stars, as I always say, guys, uh, there's no such thing as a donation too big or small. And, you know, if people want to send pretend sp stars because they don't actually have the money for stars, uh, you know, the intention's there, you know, you just want me to feel good about myself and appreciate it. So if you're sending me pretend stars, I'm not going to get upset about that. Thank you very much for the pretend stars. John says you wanted Steve Owen Crikey star screen. All right, Johnny. Johnny, this one's going out to you. 50 stars. I've just right written that down for you, John, so we might be able to get to that eventually. We do need to get a Steve Owen star screen happening. Lawrence says, does Australia have a hood? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, we, 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 have, we have the ghetto over here. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, our, I mean, obviously, I, I, I don't, I don't think gangs are probably as big of a problem over here as what they are in other countries. But we certainly have gangs over here for sure. Um, the, the most dangerous gangs in the country are probably in the Sydney suburbs. Sydney's actually pretty dangerous. Uh, don't get me wrong, like Sydney's a nice place for people to visit, but it can be pretty dangerous. I would say the biggest underworld in the country is in Sydney. Gold Coast is starting to get a pretty hectic underworld as well. Um, Brisbane actually is pretty safe for the most part. I mean, you've got bikies here that have their hands and stuff. Uh, but, but Brisbane, for the most part, is pretty laid back. At least most of the criminals here will keep their nose clean with civilians and they'll just bother their own. So, you know, you just kind of mind your own business and usually you're alright. There you go, I'm teaching you guys a few things about the Aussie Underworld, hey? If you want to know more about the Aussie Underworld, we've actually got a really good TV series called Underbelly, and you can find out more about our famous crime gangs. Well, thank you, John, I appreciate you. Lauren says, is my ghetto getting taken over by those spiders and snakes? That's enough out of you, Lauren. <laughs> That's enough out of you. No. You guys keep, you know what, no, nowhere, no matter where you live in the country, spiders and snakes are a problem. But all those other dangerous animals, like crocodiles and dingoes, they're only in certain parts of the country, you know what I mean? Hey Rick, you call them bikies? What's a biker? A biker games, basically. We call them bikies. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what Australians call them, biker games. We're going to use the drill, you said, right? Oh, let's try to use this drill. Let's try this again. Okay, I'm going to try and use a, the jet here and see how we go. Who says streams aren't educational? No, I'm, te I'm teaching you guys the important things about life, right? Alright, oh, we got this. Okay, I made it. Cool. Didn't really feel like being stuck there forever. I think I, can, I think I can use the, the, the R coil here now. We'll see how we go. What do I... Pro oh, you can't, eat, you can't eat koalas here, man. Koal koalas are on the endangered list. If you eat a koala bear, you're going to be in big trouble. Alright, cool. We made it. So that's that, those two sections. Sorry, guys. Just had to concentrate for a second. Yeah, ko koalas are protected. They're incredibly endangered. Probably because the stupid things always walk on the road and get run over by people. But, uh, yeah, no, koalas are endangered, man. You know, you, yeah, you can't mess around. They're, they're very, very protected. Kangaroos, we've got, like, a plague of kangaroos, you know what I mean? I don't know anyone that's eaten koala meat before. But, yeah, koalas are definitely not for eating. So, Cam says, hey, you always wanted to go to Australia, so now you'll be a bit safer. Like, if you guys ever want to visit Australia for vacation, I can always recommend the safe places to go to. As I said, come to Sydney, view the harbour, check out the sights. Sydney is a beautiful city. Uh, but if you came to Australia, my recommendation is maybe only spend a few days in Sydney. It's not somewhere I think you should spend your whole holiday. That's just my own personal opinion. Yeah, I like kangaroo meat. Kangaroo meat's great. I haven't had it in a long time. As I said, kangaroo meat's kind of like steak, it's just a bit gamier. Alright, we're going to finally use our ring here. Andy says, a man, yeah, we had koalas brought to our school back back in the day too. It was always a fun time. Are, are, we, doing it, are we doing it right? Well, 
Oh, we're just gonna hit him in the face. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay. I was just working out the pattern, guys. We got this now. Come on, we can get him. Alright, cool. We're just gonna keep doing the slidey, slidey ones. It's pretty straightforward. Come on, Rick. You've got this, mate. Oh, crap. It's hard, because you want to you get as many shots in and save the slide to the last minute. But, uh... Let's keep trying. Oh, that was close. Come on, Rick. Damn it! Alright, let's try this again. I'll shoot and then twice and then slide. Damn it! Shoot twice and then slide is probably the way to go. Alright, cool. We're going to slide that way. Back sliding back the other way is actually probably really good. Come on, Rick. We'll get him. I'll be right with you, everyone. Alright, cool. Say you're going to save from here. Have I ever had venison? Yeah, I've eaten venison before. Not for a number of years, but I enjoyed it back in the day. Venison's pretty nice. I used to have venison schnitzels. I think you used to crumb them and they were actually quite tasty. Oh, gosh darn it. Damn it! Fucking damn it! Sorry, guys. I'm getting, getting really pissed off now. I'm better at this. Not much better in this, but still better. <laughs> Oh, goodness. John, thank you, man. Why don't you eat chlamydia? Do they really have chlamydia? I didn't even know that. Actually, I've heard some of our animals actually have chlamydia. That makes sense. Koalas, all koalas do is get high and bang like rabbits. John with the 50 stars. Thank you very much, John. This one's gone out to you. Mr. Drew says, if you come to Australia, can you come visit me? Of course, guys. If you all end up coming to Australia, I'll try and work out a way that we can meet each other and hang out and, uh, Again, part, one of the most exciting things about 1.0 is actually meeting the people that watch you. So yeah, if you ever come to Australia, guys, I'll make the effort to meet you. Oh, better late than never. There we go, there's that one. How many more levels have we got? Like, three or four? How you doing, Ryan? Good to see you today, good sir. Thank you for hanging out. You know, I'm actually enjoying Mega Man 4 a lot more compared to my last playthrough now, Captain BS. I definitely see myself putting this in the lineup now. I used to think Mega Man 4 was one of the hardest in the series, but I definitely don't anymore. Now that I've gotten used to the mechanics, I think there's a lot harder Mega Man games than this. It just all comes down to experience, I guess, at the end of the day. Oh my gosh, there we go, Kenneth. <laughs> Okay, I've got, I've got another question for you guys. I always like to bring up a random topic. If you guys had a favorite non-mainstream meat, what is it? So when I say non-mainstream, I mean something that's not chicken, pork, beef, or lamb. So if you guys had a favorite non-mainstream meat, or fish either. So if you guys had a favorite non-mainstream meat, uh, what would it be? I'm curious. How you doing, Jack? Good to, uh, God damn it. Good to see you, Jack. Thank you for coming in. Oh yeah, if, one thing, if there's one thing Australia knows how to do, it's definitely a decent barbecue. You better believe it. I, I would argue that Australia does barbecues just as good, if not better, than anyone. I know I know, you, my friends from the United States probably don't want to hear that, but it's true. <laughs> oh, bison, hey? Everyone's telling me to try these bison burgers. David says he likes deer. Oxtail. Don't, don't you put, like, oxtail in soup and stuff? Shark or gator? Yeah, I like gator. Gator's probably mine. Every time I go to Thailand, I eat a lot of gator. As much gator as I can. But again, gator's a very kind of lean meat, I think. So there's nothing worse than when gator's been overcooked because it gets pretty tough. But yeah, no, I, 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 I enjoy uh, I enjoy uh, gator tremendously. I, I need to, I need to pull out my drill here. Did I miss an e-tank? Oh, I didn't even realise. Oh, way to, way to make a guy depressed. I didn't even realize I missed an E-Tank. Whoops. Oh, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> oh, I can't believe I missed an E-Tank. I'm depressed. There you go. I just got an extra life. How about that? I'm going to go up this aforementioned direction. Tofu. Tofu is a meat substitute. That's not meat. It doesn't count. You should be ashamed of yourself if you're classy tofu as meat. Jack says bison's great. You once had bear meat, which is also good. I heard bear meat is incredibly greasy. 
Like, I hear if you eat bear, it's probably like one of the greasiest meats you can eat. Who else has tried bear? There we go, some health. Cam says he likes ostrich and deer. I've never tried ostrich. I think I think they sell that kind of stuff in South Africa, but I've never had it over here. Tofu is not meat. No, it's known to be a meat substitute, but it's definitely not meat, that's for sure. Tofu does not count. You can, you can, some people buy ostrich eggs too, right? I heard ostrich eggs is also a thing. Oh, we're gonna use the coil here. Alright, we made it, so let's see what's up this section. Oh, it's nice and easy. And Amanda thinks she's had some ostrich, but she doesn't remember. I don't think you can eat emus, I've never ever had emu before. Emu's basically like the Australian equivalent of ostrich. Like, I mean, I, I don't know if they're related or in the same family, but they're similar birds. You know, they're big, gigantic land birds. I think ostriches traditionally are, are, are bigger than emus. I, th I think ostriches are actually relatives of uh, the dinosaurs, if I'm not mistaken. I think they've been around for thousands and thousands of years. They used to be bigger, obviously, in the Stone Age. You like tuna? You have a whole beef playlist on... Oh, wow. Crab Ragoon count as not mainstream meat? I guess you could say crab or certain shellfish is not mainstream, I suppose. I mean, crab is fairly common, but it's not like... Again, I guess it's not something you eat every day. What's wrong, Jimmy? Never mind. Again, I do apologise if I'm missing any comments today, guys. I just want you to know that uh, I do value everything you've got to say, but I'm just playing the game at the same time, so sometimes I, I miss a comment or two. I do really, really enjoy crab. What I don't like about crab is how hard the meat is to get out of the shell. And I find every time I eat crab, I'm always cutting my hands open. I need someone to get the meat out for me. Because I, I, I suck. <laughs> oh no! I, oh, damn it. Oh, we, we might be in a spot of bother here. Uh, Captain BS, if our ring ability is... Uh, if we run out of rings, what can we use here? I completely forgot to fill up the rings, dude. Okay, this, this could be a problem. Oh no, it doesn't seem like he's going to take too many hits. Okay, now we've got this. That's fine. That's fine. I think we can probably finish him off with the, the buster and all be well in the world. Alright, cool. We'll get one more shot in. Okay, I missed that. Oh, damn, I'm just going a little bit too hard here. Oh, damn it! I'm just getting nervous. Alright, that's another shot. We, we'll get one more shot out of this. And we're going to desperately need to fill up our ring ability. Come on, Rick. Oh, gosh. Alright, I'm going to save here. Let's try and finish him off with the buster. Can we... Can we... Oh, God damn it! Can we finish him off with the buster? I really don't want to use that E-Tank if I can help it. Oh, you can't get him with a buster. What other weapon can I use? Can I use drill? Oh, let's try and use a drill weapon. What, what What else? The buster. I just tried to use a buster and it bounced off. Did I Did I miss Did I miss fire or something? Yeah, look, the buster's not working. Well, that sucks. All right, what else can I use? Maybe the Maybe the I don't know. What else is here? Not the dust. Maybe the dive weapon. Let's try that. Let's try and use a. Oh gosh, damn it. Alright, cool. Well, that's not working. It has to be a precise hit. Oh, I see. Alright, alright, let's do... Okay, the... alright, well, I'm gonna take Bill's word for it. He says the buster. I really just don't want to use this heat tank again. Oh, I see. Alright. Oh, god damn it! Oh, alright, here we go. Ferro shot, charge it. Oh, can you really? Can you use a ferro shot in this? Try using the fair Oh, for fuck's sake! I hate this fucking game right now. I don't want to waste an E-Tank. Oh, for f Oh, my gosh! This game is driving me fucking insane right now. Oh, god damn it. Oh, 
Oh man. Oh god. I hate the that's it, I'm using an E-tank. Fuck this. Fuck this. Oh, excuse me, I'm just getting so pissed off. Alright, there we go. I have to I have to use the E there we go. Just gonna just gonna cheese it now. Man, he can tell you what, it's like trying to get a freaking it's like, this is like giving birth. It's like trying to push a freaking uh, watermelon out of a needle. All right, there we go. We got it. You can jump behind the boss to kill him easy. <laughs> All right, there we go. We did it. All right, thank, thank you, Captain BS. Sorry, guys. That was pretty clumsy, wasn't it? So we're up to the next section now. So is this where we have to take on all the robot bosses again? Alright, it looks oh it looks like we're gonna at least get one more E-tank, so it's not the end of the world. Alright, so we can fill up our ring ability again, because you know, why not? So I need the Pharaoh shot for the final boss. What else do we need? Next time you see a skull area, maybe fill up. Yeah, you might be right. Alright, cool, we did it. Let the hate flow through me. I certainly am today. Alright, looks like we're gonna take on every boss again. I'm glad we're finally up to this section at least, because, you know... I'm gonna get those. You think the second form of Wily is a... Okay, so the second form of Wily is a charge shot. And uh, what's the first form of Wily? I'm guessing probably the ring, because the ring seems to attack everything. Alright, there we go. I'll just jump down here, shoot the little... And there you go, one says he just passed a dead skunk now in his car and it stinks. And Cam says, Rick, have you ever heard of the Australian Facebook comedians Marty and Michael? They're from Queensland. Oh, so they're from where I live. I've not heard of Marty and Michael. Cam, you'll have to send me a link. Aussie comedians are hilarious. But I just I just warn you guys in advance, if you ever watch a, an Aussie comedian, uh, most decent Aussie comedians are not politically correct. So they'll end up offending someone eventually, you know what I mean? Just, just giving you guys a heads up. We got Sky over on YouTube. Good to see you, Sky. Thank you for coming in. Sorry to hear you got a work date. Hope it's not too big a shift. Now, guys, as soon as the stream is finished, I'm going to disconnect, take a quick break, and then we're going to be playing some GTA 5. So I'm not going to be gone for too long. And, uh, all right. So, all right, one stage at a time. Let's see what we got over here. He's amazing, isn't he, Matt? That's exactly what I mean. Isaac Butterfield is a freaking shiznit. So we're going to take on Pharaoh Man, and we're going to use Ring Man against uh, Pharaoh Man. Oh no, I, I guess Ring Man is somewhat... Uh... It doesn't really feel like the ring shots... Man, am I still using the right weapon? I don't think I'm using the right weapon. Oh no, I was using the wrong weapon, no wonder. Pharaoh Man, Dust Man, hang on. Use a flash stopper, I'm so sorry, I stuffed that up. Let's do that again. I was totally using the wrong weapon. So the flash stop, so that's a, that's a, what's a flash stop again? The bright weapon, isn't it? I think that's it. The flash stopper, alright, cool, we got it. I stuffed up, I apologise. Yeah, you're right, Captain BS, forgive me. Wasn't, wasn't paying attention correctly. Just keep doing this. Just keep using the regular buster. Yeah, exactly, Henry. Unfortunately, everyone... Mo most famous Australian comedians are very politically correct because, you know, the Australian uh, media is very, very... Uh, uh, it's just, you know, we, we, we've got the same problems in Australia you guys have in the United States. You say one wrong thing and everyone wants to crucify you. You know, people don't judge you on your character or on the grey area of what you said. And people don't judge you anymore that, you know, you're a good person but you make mistakes. As soon as you slip up over here, your career's over. Like, people just are waiting for you to fail because they hate their own miserable lives. Basically. What happened to Yahoo series? He only did a couple movies, Charlie. Everyone thinks he's a national treasure. He's really not. Alright, so we're going to take on Ringman. What, what are we going to do against Ringman now? We're going to use the Pharaoh weapon against Ringman, don't we? Ringman, use the Pharaoh shot. Do you recommend I use the Pharaoh shot for this, or do you think I should use a different weapon since we have to save this? 
Oh, we only need to use a couple shots anyway, so it's no big deal. Oh, gosh damn it. Oh, let's try this again. We'll get it. Almost there, guys. Thank you for bearing with me. A couple more shots. Cool, we got him. All right, so we got plenty of Pharaoh shots left. Cecil with 250 stars. Cecil, thank you so much for the support today. This one's going out to you. I'll have an opportunity to refresh it. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Cecil. Super, super kind of you today, man. You think Yahoo Serious is Prime Minister right now? There's Yahoo Serious. The only two Yahoo Serious movies I know is Reckless Kelly and Young Einstein. How many of you guys have seen either? Probably no one. <laughs> so that's Dustman. What's Dustman Week again against? Alright, we're gonna fight we're gonna pick up Dustman here. What's Dustman Week again? Use the ring boomerang for Dustman. Alright, we can do. Thank you, Fred. I can't believe we've beaten this as easy as what you know, I mean I've died a lot. But I do remember the last time I played this game, I struggled a lot more, so. This is progress. I'm pretty happy today. Progress is progress, and I'll, I'll definitely play this game again for you guys one day. I do feel like this game is a little bit less tedious than Mega Man 3 now that I've put some time into it. I actually prefer to play this over Mega Man 3. Mr. Drew says he actually saw Young Einstein. And Andy also said he saw uh, Young Einstein. Young Einstein was funny. I saw that at the drive-in with my dad. Young Einstein was so famous in Australia for a little while that it was actually a featured attraction at Warner Brothers Movie World. But they got rid of it because this generation doesn't know who Yahoo Serious is. Yahoo Delirious. So what's that Toad Man? What's Toad Man weak against? I'm guessing he's weak against probably the drill, I'm gonna guess. Just, just, just. Okay, yeah, he is weak against the drill. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, we got this. We got this. Oh, here we go. Mess, mess, just ruined his day. What else we got? Pauly Shaw was awesome. I liked Pauly Shaw in Encino Man, wheezing the juice. No wheezing the juice! <laughs> oh, save the drill. Sorry, Captain BS. My bad. Oh, well, we got plenty of E-Tanks. I'm not intimidated. Now, what are we going to use against this guy? Was this Dive Man? Let's have a look down here. Dive man, use the skull barrier. All right, we're gonna use the aforementioned skull barrier now. All right, cool, we got him. Barry, thank you, man. Good to see you, Barry. Barry said 1991 called and wants their game back. Are you bringing back the retro love? Yeah, man, as I said, we're gonna counterbalance this and play a new game afterwards. Barry, thank you, brother. This one's going out to you. Barry with the 50 stars today. <laughs> and Josh says, have I ever done any Metroid games on this page? Yeah, Josh, on this page, we play Metroid. Uh, we play Super Metroid. Or we play Metroid Zero Mission. Uh, we've played Metroid Fusion. And we have done Metroid 2 Remake before. So we've played about five Metroid games on this page. Whether I'm good at them or not is another story. Uh, but yeah, we do Metroid games at one coin. Hey, you doing, Luther? Welcome back in. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to do dust against... Uh, we're going to use the dust. All right, we're going to use the dust weapon here. Sorry to keep stopping the stream, guys. I just need to work out what freaking uh, weapon to use. All right, we got this over here. I'm going to actually die on purpose, because you can actually uh, die and... Yeah, we're going to just get our full health back. <laughs> Encino Man was a wonderful movie. I, I wonder whatever happened to Brendan Fraser, hey. I, I, he was pretty old, actually. He was a lot older than what people realise. I think Brendan Fraser's like in his 60s now or something. He's, uh, he played a high school student in that movie in the like, early 90s, when he was about 30 years old, I think. Do you remember that high school movie that... Uh, I think, I think, uh... 
Yeah, I think I think he played that high school student in in a movie in the in the early nineties where like he was in a fifties high school or something. And he had to deal with prejudice and stuff. Yeah, that's a Brendan that was a Brendan Fraser movie. Yeah, he was like thirty when he acted in that, I think. How you doing, Kid at Heart Gaming? Good to see you. And Kid at Heart says, if anyone played Mega Man first, which one would I recommend? I think the easiest Mega Man game to start off with is definitely number two or number ten. If you if you needed to play Mega Man for the first time and you're after an easy experience, number ten and two are probably a great entry point. Probably more so ten, because you can put handicaps on that one. So I think we need to use the Toad Water here, if I'm not mistaken. Toady Toady McToad Water. Oh gosh, we got this. Hang in there, Rick. Oh damn, alright, let's reload. Let's try this again. Maybe I should die on purpose again. That could that could be uh that could be a plan. So we're almost out of here, guys. Thank you for hanging out. I'm gonna die on purpose and get my full health back. I've got plenty of lives here to play with. First form for Will Wiley is boomerang. Second form is the drill shot. Use the buster once out of those weapons. All right, you got it. Right, we're gonna make sure that we have three E tanks for the boss. We got this. Alexander says he was new to Mega Man back in 2004. I started with Mega Man 1, guys. I, I've been playing Mega Man 1 since 1989, 1990, and uh, the rest is history. Little jumpy, jumpy dude here. Oh my gosh! I don't know how to keep avoiding his shots, but as long as, long as if, if his bullet hits you. It does less damage, I think, if his body actually hits you, if that makes sense. See, look how much damage you take if he actually hits you. That can be a pain. Alright, cool. Oh, Totally Rad was actually a really, really good game. I actually owned Totally Rad back in the day. I got up to the last level, but I never ended up beating it. Totally Rad was good really hard, though. You're born in 1968? That's the way. 50 years young, Chris. And Cam says you're thinking toss salad and scramble eggs, Frazier. Oh yeah, that's right. I was in the the, the 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 credits. So what's this guy? This is our uh, ring man, right? Oh no, this is drill man. So what do I gotta use? Use the dive bomb. All right, cool. Oh, this this one's straightforward. This is a really really easy boss. You're just gonna keep moving around. Just gonna keep moving around, and you're good. Oh damn. Okay. Well, I thought it was easy. Shows what I know. Keep shooting that son of a bitch. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Come on, Rick. It's all a patience game, really, isn't it? Oh damn it! Oh, that, that's just really. St oh come on! Fuck off! Are you serious? He doesn't usually chase after you in this, so that was really freaking annoying. Oh, that was so annoying. Now all of a sudden he's shooting at me. That bit. Oh, god damn it. Oh, come on. Fuck off, drill man. Don't fucking cheat. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this again. Now I'm getting really pissed off. Freaking drill man, son of a bitch. Oh, gosh. Really? I don't want to use. Oh. You know what? I'm just gonna die on purpose and use a full health. I've oh, plenty of lives here. Yeah, good. Fucking kill me, dickhead. Alright. Goodness. Oh, there, yeah, there is an NES game called Totally Rad. I think it's called something else in other regions as well. But yeah, uh, Totally Rad was a game by Jellico. It was like a, a platform game about this kid, kind of like Mega Man actually, where you'd like use uh, like a Mega Buster and you'd have other spells and things like that. You could tell it was a, a Mega Man copycat. Oh, come on. Let it out, I know. What am I doing, Alexander? I don't know, trying to beat this guy. As you do. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's alright, we'll get him. Saving here. That's another one. 
Yeah, sorry guys, my, my language is a bit vulgar sometimes. I use vulgar language, guys, but I have a heart of gold, I promise. Please don't be afraid of me. My bark is worse than my bite. <laughs> oh gosh, finally got him. Jeez, man, what a pain. So here's the, here's the final one over here. Now I'm not picking my nose, guys, I've just got an itch. It really is itchy today, I'm not even kidding. I'm probably just going to die here on purpose one more time. And, uh... Because I just, I just want to get my health back. Because we've only got three E-Tanks to go through this. Use the Ring Boomerang, you say. Alright, so we're going to use the Ring Boomerang here. More or less, Amanda, yeah. Most of the time. I thought you said we got to fill up our weapons again, Captain BS. Well, you said there was an opportunity to fill up our weapons again. So we'll see how we go here. I'm guessing this is the second last boss. It's alright, we get him. So the second form is a drill, apparently. Oh, we almost got him. Alright, cool. So we're just going to finish him off with a buster there. Alright, cool. So there we go. After this fight. Okay, gotcha. Use a, use a drill now, right? Alright, I'm going to use um, one E-Tank. One e I think if we use one E-Tank and we save two for the final form, we should be okay. I'm guessing there's probably going to be another E-Tank in the next screen as well. Oh, God, come on. Okay, you're supposed to blow it up before impact, I get it. Let's try this again. Any other weapons you recommend, or only the... Come on. Oh, crap, we might be out of... Oh, damn, I was close to actually doing that without uh, using an E-Tank. That would have been handy. Alright, we're going to have to use one more E-Tank here. Let's see how we go. You can use Toad against this guy as well. Okay, we're gonna use Toad against this guy too. Damn, after all that. Was... Alright, cool, we got him. Alright, there we go. So we got one more form and then we're, we're champion of the universe here, guys, which is amazing. <laughs> Eli says, do I like jalapenos on my food? Oh, absolutely, bro. Sometimes at the pizza place I'll order a Mexican pizza. And it'll be flooded with chili and jalapenos, man. I love jalapenos. Always get jalapenos on my subway as well. You guys already know how much I like hot food. Here we go, the last area, guys, and I've got two tanks. I think I think we got this. I'm gonna stay confident here. You gotta stay confident. You gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe in yourself even when no one else does, right? You like jalapenos and your chili fries? Yeah, that's what's up. Use range on bridge Spider-Man, cause a Ferro shot on the last battle. Okay. That's right, that's right. You were telling me to use a Ferro shot, weren't you? So we, we can grind here if we want, but I don't... Is this what you mean? This is where we have to grind? Okay, gotcha. So we're just gonna stay here and keep grinding the slug. Alright, so we're going to try and get some magic stuffs here. Oh, cool, there we go. So what are we going to put in there? One one small area left, replenish Pharaoh, and then charge and hold a full charge and run into Wily third form, rinse and repeat. I've got, I've, I've filled, filled with, okay, so we're going to replenish Pharaoh. And then one small area left, replenish Pharaoh, then charge and hold a full charge and run into Wily third form. The Wally's third form. So, uh, so, hang on. So this is the next form you mean, right? The one coming up, we're going to use Pharaoh. Alright, let's do that. We'll be fine. Alright, we're filled up Pharaoh, guys. We got it. So how, how many forms does Wily have in this battle? I'm a little bit confused. And Drew says if I come visit him, you'll get a street taco with extra, extra, uh, extra must chili sauce off the homeboy's taco truck. Yeah, man, I'm down. 
I love jalapeno poppers. There's not many places in this country where you can get them. Uh, but yeah, jalapeno poppers are... Damn it. Yeah, jalapeno poppers are wonderful. This is it, final fight. How do, how do I shoot him? How am I supposed to catch him, guys? What am I missing? How do you catch this sucker? How do I catch him? Gotta catch him all, gotta catch him all, Pokemon. How do I catch him? So I need to give me instructions here because I'm super, super confused. Oh, I've got to, I've got to bump into him with this, don't I? Okay, I've got to start. Hey, thank you, Ke Barry, with the 50 stars. Barry, really appreciate you, man. This one's going out to you. you Thanks for the support rich, today. You have to forgive me, guys. I'm not sure how to do this battle. Any any help would be much appreciated. Stay in the middle and anticipate. So I can only... I can, I'm guessing I can only get him when he flashes, right? Okay. No, that didn't work out. How do I get him? What the... You avoid the ball blast. Yeah, but how do I hit him? Now, avoiding the ball blast is one thing. I want to know how to hit him. When he appears, you blast him. Man, he only... Oh, wow. Oh, let's use, to, use Toad. I, I might start... Oh, I don't have anything in Toad. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't have anything in Toad right now. <laughs> let's try again. I feel... I don't get it. Alright, cool. There we go. One shot. So you got to guess. Oh, my gosh. Alright, there we go. Good charge up again. Alright, cool, I'm gonna reload here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna totally cheat. Oh, almost got him. Come on, can you shoot it upwards? Okay, there you go, that's two. David with 50 stars. Dave says he's taking his booty cheeks to aforementioned bed. David with the 50 stars. Thank you very much, David. This one's going out to you. Appreciate your support today. It's a fast reaction. I didn't realize I was going to need the toad. I'll know that for next time, but I didn't realize I had to use the, the toad in this battle because everyone told me to use uh, the aforementioned Pharaoh. Alright, we're going to reload here. Alright, I was a little bit too early there. That's fine. Alright, cool. To totally going to go uh, and use uh, the heat tank. I'm, I'm totally cheating here. Forgive me, but this boss is pissing me off. I don't even care. Alright, cool. So now what? Alright, we're gonna go back up here. Alright, cool. Just one more shot should do. Hey, we got him! Just like that, that's Mega Man 4. Screw that game. <laughs> Big thank you once again for coming in. How you doing there, Vincent? Thank you so much for hanging out today. Guys, don't forget, if you're enjoying the stream, please give us a like on the way out as well. We'd really, really appreciate it. Um, after these credits, guys, I'm going to be taking a 30-minute a break, and then I'm going to come back on uh, with some uh, Grand Theft Auto V. I'm going to do both the story mode and uh, the online mode. Nick with 50 stars. Nick, thank you for the support. Going out to you, Nick. You got D-Wayne back over on YouTube. Thanks for coming in, brother. I know, Alex. You're telling me. <laughs> There we go. Who's streaming right now, guys? I'm going to actually do a stream drop for you guys as well before I come back on. See if there's anyone streaming that I can support. Maybe dump some people. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Captain BS. I'm definitely going to do Mega Man 4 again in the future. I feel like we achieved a lot today. So hang around for the next couple of minutes, guys. Okay, so it looks like this is the credit. So let me just... uh. Again, a big thank you for coming in. I just want to remind you guys that I will be back on in a half an hour. Don't forget to also grab yourself uh, a subscription, guys. You can click on the green shield to find out more. Uh, not only will you be supporting us, but you'll have the premium package on one coin, which includes a ton of benefits. And uh, you can find out more by clicking the green shield. Thank you to all our current subscription holders. We are going to be doing our big 200 subscription celebration next week. So here we go. Uh, 
Everyone give my love to Melanie Mack. I can see Melanie Mack is here. She's the first person that's come up on my list. Oh, we got Bry guys too, and we got Cyclops. Now I'm going to send you guys to... Uh, who we got? Actually, there we go. All right, guys, I'm going to see you all again uh, in about a half an hour. Thank you very, very much for all the love and support, guys. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. I'll be back shortly.